a YouTube channel called Exploring Mysterious India, is at an abandoned house that was once occupied by five families. Since then, it's rumored to become so dangerously haunted that not even squatters will take their chances. The group worries about snakes in the leaves and thorny forest vines, but the real danger is already watching them from afar. While searching for an entrance, they find this rope tied in a perfect knot next to a water well that looks deep enough to easily hide a body. They find this discarded cross on the floor. Perhaps it was flung from the hands of someone who tried to cleanse this place long ago. A smeared red handprint on the wall gives the impression that no one stays here for long. Sometimes you don't have to catch a spirit on video to convince me that a location is haunted. Between the rope, the well, the handprint, and the cross, I think I have enough evidence to make up my mind on this one. A YouTuber named DK goes ghost hunting at 3 a.m. using a mirror in his home that's apparently haunted. He sets up a camera and waits until 3 a.m. Sure enough, the video glitches out and shows what appears to be someone's hand. Also, look in the mirror itself and you'll see a face looking to the left with its eyes closed. Let me know if you see it, and if so, what you make of this haunted mirror. This rare leaked footage supposedly shows the chaotic aftermath of a UFO that smashed into the sand at Roswell, New Mexico. Medical doctors and military personnel swarm around a gaunt humanoid laid out on a stretcher. Its body is only about half the size of a full-grown man and shares all the characteristics of the quote-unquote little grey man stereotype. I'm not sure how real this video is, because even though everyone is rushing around frantically, no one really seems to be doing much to keep this situation moving forward. They look more like actors than trained professionals in this regard. Also, if this being just dropped out of space, then I'm surprised it doesn't look more banged up than what you see here. Maybe the damage is internal, or maybe it's just a prop. At any rate, this video was supposedly recorded in 1947, so I'm hoping a film expert could further analyze this video and tell me whether or not this was really recorded during that time. If you ever find yourself in the middle of nowhere at night, beware who or what else might be out there with you. Published in January of 2020, Junked Up Kitten asserts that a ritual had occurred in his yard of 20 acres in the Pikes Peak Wilderness area of Colorado. In the video, the man says he just got home and his wife left almost immediately for her night shift. He was playing some games on his computer when his dog started freaking out. That's when he started to hear a weird whistling coming from outside, so he dons his boots and other winter gear before heading out to investigate the matter with his dog in the remote darkness, already courageous in my opinion. He walks out into the snow under a full moon, checks on his hens in their hen house, and also walks through his storage sheds. That's when he hears his dog barking like crazy. Well, you got something? He sets out in search of his dog to see what's got him all riled up and comes across a strange sight. Chicken feet and a bone hanging from a tree by some orange twine. Off in the distance, he spots fire in the darkness, which he says looks like candlelight. Needless to say, this all freaks him out. He decides to investigate and starts walking towards the distant fire. Soon he comes across the ritualistic setting. Tarot cards are all laid out on the ground, surrounded by five votive candles, an unlit lantern, and a purple cloth bag. It seems that Ziggy, the dog, scared off whoever was out there. They left the place in a hurry, abandoning the ritual ceremony, tarot cards and all. So many questions remain. Who were these people? Why were they on the man's property in the first place? And what were they doing? Most importantly, what do the tarot cards read? Hopefully this man's property isn't now cursed. A YouTuber named Austin Shippy is using the Ouija board with a friend. They apparently make contact, but it's not necessarily the spirit's answers that make this video haunting, but rather the strange sounds that kept coming from the background. It seems like every time they ask a question, something weird happens in the background. Perhaps the weirdest moment of all comes at the very end of the video, when they are ready to leave. Thank you very much for talking to us. Goodbye. 
There is no reason for the pointer to squeak like that. They are on a smooth surface and are not pushing down hard at all. A YouTuber named Revo X encounters a wild pheasant in the graveyard that is not at all afraid. The colorful bird looks over its shoulder to make sure he is watching and then takes the lead, guiding him someplace quite important that I'll reveal in just a moment. It hops off the road and at 1 minute and 8 seconds walks this little beaten trail of matted grass. Have you ever seen anything like it before? That's been trampled over many times before. The determined little bird stops and circles back to the human, again showing absolutely no signs of fear. It even looks straight at him, at the end like it knows what is being said. There's my mum's grave. And it will remain as it has done for the past few days, going round and round it. So is this a real spirit guide or just a pet? Some Native Americans believed pheasants to be a sign of protection and concealment because they like to bury themselves in tall grass, a creepy behavior when taken within the context of a graveyard. They can be tamed, but even if this is a pet, I don't think you can teach it to lead you somewhere for over a minute, and I never see it get a food treat as a reward or anything, so I think it's real. This TikToker has a haunted kitchen with two moving utensils. First, this spoon handle moves towards him, and there's no string visible against the dark wooden cabinets when it happens. All he can do is laugh in amazement as the spoon moves towards him, the handle even hovering in midair for a bit again with no strings attached. Ghosts are funny until they start coming to your house. I'll show you guys that I have a freaking poultry geist. <sighs> I'm almost positive this video can't be real, but at the same time, I don't see how it's being faked. Give me your best guess as to how he made both of these utensils move without any string. With a pair of tweezers in one hand and a bucket in the other, Rory Schumach approaches Lacey, a pet monitor lizard with a tick that needs to be carefully removed. The sun is in his eyes and he's too busy looking for the tick to pay attention to the other end. I'm sure you saw Lacey's jaws, but it also tried to whip him in the face with its tail. After watching this failed attempt, I would probably have a professional vet perform a tick removal, but tell me if you can think of a better way. This retro arcade room is ruined by faulty wiring, or else a real ghost. To demonstrate, the owner picks up the remote to his ceiling fan and turns the light off. There it is, wow. The lights somehow turn on by themselves despite not touching the remote at all. At 4 seconds we can see the nearest light switches all the way across the room from the distinctive shark skateboard that he's now standing by, so he couldn't have hit that himself and no one else is with him. Then, not only does the fan turn on by itself, but it also kind of goes the wrong way for a little bit first, which I don't think is normal. In a different video, the light looks much brighter than before, yet returns to normal brightness when turned off and back on. This time, he turns the light out and leaves the remote on the wall. He steps out towards the middle of the room, and the light comes back on before he even gets a chance to properly set up his camera. Based on what I've seen here, I think these videos are real, because nothing stood out as blatantly fake. If this house is haunted, let's just hope it's not a malevolent spirit. After all, you wouldn't want to give up an arcade setup that nice. Nothing will make you want to skip work more than this next video. Published by Real Ghost in September of 2015, this ghost was captured in an office one night. The video shows a darkened room. As the camera pans around, a semi-transparent robed figure appears in a window to the kitchen. When the camera quickly pans back, the figure is no longer there. Are we dealing with an office ghost straight from Tales of the Crypt? He's definitely not here to do some light paperwork. Jake Duffner is a YouTuber who took a 3AM challenge that left him with a bizarre and unsettling problem he's not sure how to solve. One morning, his girlfriend Ashley woke up covered in random scratches, so Jake set up a camera over their bed and records the following night. This is what comes to visit them early in the morning.
An unidentified man stands over the two of them as they sleep, although the stranger doesn't seem to cause them any harm. Jake is sure that this is the person who scratched Ashley the night before. Obviously, this video could have been staged, and the person dressed in all black could just be a friend of Jake's. However, you can still see the shape of the person's nose through their mask. Some of Jake's fans say that this person's nose doesn't look like it could belong to any of the channel's regulars. If this is true, then maybe this stalker really was a stranger after all. I will say that this video looks like it was shot during the daytime, which is a strong indication that it could be fake, or at least probably not a true 3am challenge. Either way, stalkers are somewhat common, and Jake does happen to be a popular YouTuber. So it would make sense for him to have an unwanted admirer. Let me know if you think someone is living in jail. The Bassett Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that, it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. A woman by the name of Cecilia Carasso in Chile strode past the reception desk at a law office in 2015 when she was attacked by something invisible. As you watch the CCTV video, Cecilia is strolling with a young woman towards the reception desk when she reportedly felt something push her with such force that it caused her to fall backwards hard. You can see Cecilia chatting with the woman and gesturing at something when suddenly, out of nowhere, she falls flat on her back. She doesn't just slip, she absolutely appears as though she was pushed. I wasn't aware of anyone in front of me as I passed the reception desk talking to a girl, and as I looked up towards the receptionist, I suddenly felt two pairs of hands shove me over, Cecilia said. She later added, I hit the floor, and when I looked up, I couldn't see anybody, and I thought they must have run off. When Cecilia asked the receptionist who had pushed her, she was told that nobody had. Cecilia didn't believe the receptionist until she was shown footage of the incident. After seeing it, she was sure that she had been the victim of a ghost attack since there was absolutely nobody around her. Cecilia's doctors reported that her injuries were consistent with a fall, but that she'd also received a large blow to the head, which may have caused confusion about what she felt and about her injuries, but that doesn't explain what happened in this creepy CCTV footage. These YouTubers are about to come face to face with a situation none of us would want to deal while out on the water. Hey! The boat would have practically cleaved him in half had he not paddled away at the last second. And as the other boat passes, you can see one person is facing the wrong way and the other is absentmindedly holding a fishing rod. Nobody is guiding the engine like they should have been. Everything is okay in the end, but like the YouTuber says, he wouldn't operate a car without looking where you're going, so you shouldn't drive a boat like that either. Let this be a lesson to look where you're going on the water, and if you're in a small paddle boat like he was, always be sure to look up when you hear an approaching engine. A CCTV system in India shows a man walk past a little girl playing by herself. She reaches out here at the 5 second mark, but I'm not sure if she says anything to him or not. If she does, he doesn't seem to respond. 
He stops and it looks like he might be concerned for her well-being at first, but that's not the case. At the 45 second mark, he pauses to look directly at her, then over his shoulder to check inside the house nearby, presumably to see if any witnesses were near. He says something to her and brings a hand up to her like she is thinking something through, probably trying to judge if a statement is true. They start to walk away from her house and he is pointing at something all the while maybe at some imaginary promise around the corner, meant to get her to walk with him. Everything is going to plan until she suddenly rushes back. He gives her some distance but does not leave. Time passes and he silently disappears behind a tree. I don't know if he was hoping to pop out and grab her or what, but it's definitely more creepy behavior. He stands there for a full minute after the initial encounter until walking away. Maybe he made a note of this house and plans to return. I don't know if this episode of CK Taylor's show is more odd or terrifying. Today's item on the menu is Gooey Duck, which is an oversized clam, not a duck, though it does look extraordinarily gooey. Forget about the appearance for one second and let me ask you this, would you be able to eat anything that sounds like a hissing balloon? <laughs> It doesn't get any prettier or less odd looking when you remove the first layer of skin. If anything, it just looks twice as terrifying as before. And when CK Taylor cracks open the shell, the rest of its body looks like some kind of tumor. This is what it looks like when it's fully prepared, which I will admit looks more like a regular piece of seafood, but still like something from another dimension. So that's a hard pass from me. To be fair, I'm sure CK Taylor is an excellent chef and her husband says it tastes good when he tries it. It tastes good. Right? Yeah. Would you be brave enough to take a bite? A man draws suspicion when he holds his phone a little too high while looking away. When he does look at his phone, he appears to be in deep concentration. Little does he know the window behind him reflects his screen, betraying him and telling the whole story to anyone quick enough to notice. Look to the right and you'll see the blurry image of a woman sitting. He is obviously recording the female passenger for whatever reason, who is secretly recording him in return. This continues for well over a minute. He is looking straight at his screen and there's no possible way he doesn't know the camera is on. The idea of watching someone through your phone is beyond creepy. And if he was recording a video, who knows how many times he watched it later in his free time. Michael Andurez is in a car full of friends when they hear a distant voice call out from the nearby woods. I didn't really hear much the first time I watched, but when they slow it down, you can clearly hear someone say something like, Help me, guys. I think this could be paranormal because it doesn't sound like a normal human voice at all. Theoretically speaking, a person screaming at a speeding car with the windows rolled up would almost certainly not be heard by anybody inside. There are some things that make you so nervous you can never unsee them. They remain on the backs of your eyelids when you go to sleep at night. This entry will make you stay out of the forest. Redditor Film Direction wrote, Aw oh man, Chills is gonna be all over this in his next video. And he's right, I am. Posted by Rabbit14k, this video of a so-called forest guard was captured in India. The clip shows a vehicle driving at night down a dirt road surrounded by forest. It must be drizzling as the windshield wipers are moving. Then up ahead in the middle of the road is a figure in white flowing robes. The figure's head is covered, and when we never see its face, as the vehicle backs up, the figure walks slowly and strangely off the path and into the trees. As the vehicle continues to reverse, it disappears, swallowed by the darkness. According to Redditor Vixen Ross, this might be a holy man or woman, as the Sri Sarada Devi wears similar robes to these worn by our forest guard. Others note that it's a bit on the dark side for a midnight stroll, even for a holy man. 
Did this video make the hair on your legs stand up? Did it give you chills? Did it make your nose start running? And what do you think? Is this human or a demon? Is this an authentic electronic voice phenomenon caught on camera? Published by Massage ASMR in April of 2013. This video was filmed at a temple in Egypt in October of 2012. The YouTuber's friends shared this footage with Massage ASMR. The short clip appears to have captured a strange childlike sigh while on a temple tour. Oh, the guys According to the uploader, there were no children on the tour, which consisted of mostly Australians and South Africans. The voice sounds very out of place, which is why they thought it might be an EVP. Perhaps even speaking ancient Egyptian. Is Cleopatra trying to speak to us? What is her message to the modern world? Or is something else haunting this temple? The answer remains unclear for now. Pete Privy is perfectly piloting a drone in the parking lot, at least until the time comes to land. His friend is demonstrating how to grab one out of midair, but he turns around while talking, and a propeller socks him right in the eye. At 10 seconds in, you can see his friend grab his face and then stumble away in surprise. Someone hurries closely behind, ready to catch him if he passes out from the blow and the video ends. This picture shows how closely Pete's friend came to losing an eye. I think a hit any higher would have cost him his sight. As Pete says, the moral of the story is that caution is always required around drones, so never let your guard down unless you want to look like this. Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we live in to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her, because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you, and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. JB records paranormal activity on TikTok when his car door opens by itself and an orb appears. The car door opens even wider and then you see a black orb fly past. It seems like it could be paranormal until you look at the trees blowing and realize the car door probably blew open because it was a windy day. The first orb was probably a lens flare coming off from the car door, and the second black orb looks like the shadow of a bird flying by. So well over 6,000 people are saying this is a scary video, I would agree unless you look a little more closely a second time. At around 3am on April 12, 2010, this strange apparition was captured on the security camera of a bar and grill in Las Cruces, New Mexico during closing hours. Published by Ghost Investigations New Mexico in April of 2010, the crew slowed the frame by frame to 1 8th speed and shot video of the bar's security monitor. What they captured does indeed look like a floating head. In the regular shot, it appears to flash in and out quite quickly, while in the frame by frame, it looks like it actually flew out of sight. You can make out the eyes, nose, and mouth, and ears of the head's face, but it doesn't appear to have a body. There was no one inside the bar and grill at this hour. So, what is this thing? Is it the face? of a spirit? Where did its body go? The Monbury Rings in Dorchester, UK have a terrible history. YouTube team CVS Paranormal investigates this haunted place and what they hear is disturbing. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something.
to me it sounded like a mix of voices and pigs grunting in the darkness. Shortly after, they hear footsteps in the grass nearby. Ooh, what? Sure I then this creepy moan is heard. If you are walking, did you hear that? As one of the team feels something touch your head, children's laughter is heard in the background. I felt like something just touched my hair, my head. They hear a rustling in the trees that they don't believe is the wind. Light come from over there just now. In the trees. Are you over by the trees? Can you hear it? It does look like there's a breeze though, and it could just be an animal settling, but this next noise does not sound natural. What was that? I don't know. And then again, they hear footsteps. I... Yeah. Is something stalking them in the darkness? The humming they hear suggests so. Oh, it's really going now. While well, I don't hear the humming sound in the end myself, I can hear all of the other unsettling noises in this clip. To me, the most disturbing part was the pig grunting and voices heard in the very beginning. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to communicate with you. You could do something. What do you think? This video is called Old Man Tries to Lure Me. The person in question might just be bored and lonely, or they might have some really bad intentions. Watch what happens and give me your take. A YouTuber named Soft Flop is riding his bike to work when he passes a man who is sitting at the edge of his lawn. The two greet each other like normal, but then the man eagerly adds that he was just lighting fireworks. This video was taken in July, so I can understand why he'd be doing that. But listen to his voice and tell me if you think he is being over-friendly. What's up, bud? Uh, I was lighting fireworks, huh? You were? Sitting out here alone is kind of odd. If you saw somebody randomly using this setup, would you think the owner is out of their mind? Or just down on their luck? I'm thinking Softflop might have felt a little sorry for him, because they do stop and talk. After a while though, the man invites him to go even deeper onto his property to light more fireworks. I guess he could just be feeling patriotic on the 4th of July, but do you think he sounds suspicious here? I'll go grab some fireworks if you want to stay. Soft Flop decides he is fine where he is, and that's when the man starts to touch his bike and offers to fix something wrong with it. Maybe he's just being a nice guy, or maybe he is trying to gauge how Soft Flop reacts to him touching his stuff. Get this out for you a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm good. By now, he is standing closer than ever, so Soft Flop gets out of there with a fist pound. Which scenario is the truth? A socially awkward loner trying to meet new people, or someone trying to do harm? A member of the Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration Team goes to a church that he believes has been taken over by a great evil. Watch this part and tell me if he kicks something nearby or not. Last time I was. Oh. About three minutes later, he hears this noise coming from somewhere outside. It doesn't sound like an animal, and it certainly doesn't sound like a person. So is this a ghost? Outside, all of the lights are now on, when hardly any were before. Supernatural or just a timer? And one last thing, while walking around the perimeter, he chances upon this creature staring back at him through the window with red eyes. But since another red light is caught in the very next window over, I think it could just be the reflection of brakes from nearby traffic. This YouTuber is exploring a scary abandoned place in India when their adventure goes wrong at 6 minutes and 30 seconds. It looks like a real ghost sighting at first, but somebody walks right in front of a light, so that could be what's making the shadow figure appear. Still, it's bizarre enough to make them leave, and when they look back, they see a ghost in the window. 
The light passes by the window one time, doubles back and there it is, another ghost sighting. Look again though and you'll see it was actually standing in the window the entire time. This could be a shadow person, a djinn, or one of their friends wearing a cloak. They claim it was a ghost but I'm not sure. Breaking into a vehicle under the cover of darkness is common. Doing it directly in front of the car's owner? Not so much. Published by Doorbell News in October of 2021, this crazy thief must have been seriously desperate. A woman is sitting outside her home in Phoenix, Arizona, talking on her phone as a toddler toddles around, doing baby things. While chatting, she looks up from her phone to find a man breaking into her friend Bubba's vehicle right in front of the house. The entire creepy event was captured on a ring doorbell camera. You can vaguely see the man's white shirt as he approaches and then breaks into the vehicle. He didn't technically have to break anything as the car was open. The woman alerts her friend inside who rushes out to see what's going on. The guard dog sets off a 12 bark alarm. Thankfully, the man wasn't able to take off in the vehicle before the police were called. In the description, the woman notes that he was taken into police custody. Definitely one for the books in my opinion. You don't see this every day. Jonathan F.O.D. and his friends go exploring an abandoned meat processing facility building that everyone in town says is haunted, but the air quotes around ghost seems to mean he doesn't quite believe it. <laughs> So supposedly, that there's a ghost guess, uh, that runs around here. Soon he will. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Hey! Who's here? As Jonathan, F.O.D. and his two friends are ghost hunting in some kind of tool shed, they get what they think could be some paranormal evidence caught on tape. What the? Bro, you heard that, bro? What the fuck is that? Bro. Is anybody there? Oh. Oh. All three of them are on camera when these noises happen. You can see they are just standing there with their hands down so it can't be them. Maybe Jonathan had a fourth person making all of that noise, but I don't see how they could have faked that ghost EVP at 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It really does sound like the muffled voice of a small child. A solid stream of worm-like invaders moves in unison across the forest floor while a dog whines with fear. Listen to the noises their dog makes and try to tell me it's not warning them to get far away. There's got to be some kind of logical explanation in nature for this, but it sure looks like the start of a parasitic invasion to me. And when another canine joins in, I can't help but suspect this group has discovered something they'll soon wish they had never come across. Obviously, the animals are on guard, but from what exactly is my question? Is that a ghost in the window? Posted to TikTok by Trina M. Ward in the video. Trina says she's at the Martin house and that nobody lives here, is supposedly haunted. According to Trina, a man went crazy in the home and took the lives of his whole family. Some say they've seen the children's ghosts in the home. Trina was driving by randomly when she saw this in the window. The figure on the second floor looks like a child. Some notice a larger figure standing behind the child. Several in the comments warn that the child ghost is not what it may seem. Shay Zombie writes, Children's spirits don't stay on this plane. It's a demon trying to draw someone in. Don't be drawn, or you might become the next person this house draws in. A flaming torch in the forest revealed this group was not alone. The uploader writes that these friends were having some drinks in the woods when two of the young women saw a mysterious creature watching them. 
In the clip, the group is enveloped in darkness. That is, until one of them tosses a flaming torch toward a tree. It lights the brush at the base of the tree, and it also lights this creature hiding behind it. The extraterrestrial-looking figure is crouched low at the stump of the tree, but its large cranium and eyes briefly appear. You can see it back away for a moment behind the tree. And then, as the camera moves in closer, its hands extend long, spindly fingers. What is watching them? It looks like something out of this world. This strange video has me doing a double take, shared by TikToker Uaberm 1997 and originally shared by bjoshua0902. The video shows a couple of partiers going down a water slide, but watch the second one closely. It looks like a second pair of legs is sticking out to the side. Watch again. Is someone following closely behind the woman? It doesn't appear so. When she splashes into the water, no one pops up behind her. So what's going on here? The only explanation I can see is that there was another person following closely behind that somehow swam out of view during the splash. But I don't know. It sure doesn't look like that's what's happening. What do you think is going on here? This YouTube channel is just a random string of letters and numbers that may or may not spell out some sort of hidden message. There's one video that's especially strange. Someone is furiously pedaling around a neighbor while panting. Apparently lost and possibly being pursued. The next video is of someone watching two other people from afar and from behind some shrubbery. I'm not sure if this video is real or not, because they would obviously be able to see this person from this angle in my opinion, but maybe they were just ignoring him or truly didn't notice. If the person filming here is the same person that was on the bike, then I think they may have serious problems. After not posting for over 7 years, the channel started uploading content again a month ago. Maybe now there will be more clues revealing the mystery behind these videos. Spooky Gotham goes exploring an abandoned factory building in India. <laughs> because it's rumored to be the source of much paranormal activity according to local gossip. Let's take a look at some of the ultra creepy moments they've caught on tape and see if they're really paranormal. <laughs> Leaving the building does not solve their fears. They appear to be arguing about whether or not there's a paranormal mist in the shape of a figure when more scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Watch for the yellow ghost door about 31 minutes and 47 seconds. Hello? Freaky, right? He and his team know they have to press the paranormal investigation forward and keep exploring the abandoned factory, but their courage doesn't last for long.
They run off screaming without ever getting a chance to see what was following so close behind. But wait, at 16 minutes and 32 seconds, they appear to have caught a phantom apparition on camera, a scary man who is not part of the ghost hunting group in the slightest. They think it's a scary face looking back at them, but it could just be a piece of rotting drywall shaped like one. Either way, I'd say this abandoned factory building in India is haunted by something paranormal and that it's probably too spooky to keep making ghost hunting videos there anymore. A YouTuber named Dan Baines is the keeper of Mr. Fritz, a ventriloquist dummy that was once used to entertain the troops. During the 1940s, he's very old and has since fallen apart to the point where all that remains is his disembodied head. Mr. Fritz is believed to be possessed by the spirit of his creator, a man who lost his life in battle and refuses to rest in peace. Lately, Dan has been seeing and hearing things all around the antique, so he sets up a camera to record. It's 3.30 in the morning when the glass door pops open. I don't see a string. Do you? This happens again at around the same time the next night, except this time his eyes open. String or no string? Watch this part and tell me how a wooden ventriloquist dummy can open its eyes with no one nearby. And if you zoom in for a closer look, you'll see two orbs race by shortly after the case opens. I'm not saying that this video is impossible to fake, but unless this is an electronic prop that is being controlled with a remote, then I don't see how it can be done. A woman is driving in the woods at night when she hears this. Published by Bigfoot's Testimony, this poor soul caught a truly frightening encounter on camera. The footage shows a woman heading home late at night when she pauses for a moment after hearing something. She starts driving forward again, but then after stalling in the middle of the road, she hears this horrifying scream. Oh my god, no, f that. The sound freaks her out so much, she speeds off. Many in the comments are saying lots of animals make scary noises in the wild. Some think this could be a bobcat. Others say it's obviously the ghost lady of the woods. While many are getting horror movie vibes, perhaps those most familiar with the forest can explain. Any park rangers here? I'm sure your opinion can help us solve this mystery. This crab fisherman caught more than he bargained for. Published by Casey Spotlight, believe it or not, not, this is a real thing that's swimming in the waters of our oceans. Known as a wolf eel, this super creepy species dwells in the North Pacific. With a tail that stretches some eight feet, wolf eels often wrap themselves up into caves launching out with their wolfish heads to snatch prey, usually shellfish, urchins, and crabs. With crabs crawling in the cage alongside him, this particular wolf eel appears to be mid-meal as there's something large in its mouth. The fishermen pull the object out of the eel's mouth. What do you think of this creepy creature? My advice? Steer clear of taking an icy dip in the North Atlantic. A YouTuber named Ashton Kelly is skateboarding with his friend Casey when they remember there near an old haunted tunnel that might make for some good video. The first part is really small so they scoot across on their boards until it widens to reveal the true, much darker entrance. Ashton is commenting on nearby spiders when they hear a low rumbling noise that I think is just the wind but could be a growl. It's a big spider. What, what the Eventually, they go so far down that they no longer get a cell phone signal, meaning they're truly on their own from this point on. And that's when they see a single eye reflecting light. To this day, they're not sure what was watching them. The thing is low to the ground and I don't know if this is its whole body or just the head peeking around the corner. It doesn't move, which makes me wonder if they put it there. But it could have just been as surprised as they were. 
Ashton and Casey get out of there as fast as possible, but take a look at it again. What do you think they were running from? Patrick Janssen goes into the basement to retrieve some belongings, among them a camera, when he sees something out of the corner of his eye. He decides to start recording all around him since he has his camera anyway, and he's surprised by what he finds. Here it is again in slow motion, a black shadow passing from left to right as he walks forward. A shadow that looks different than his own is shown here at 32 seconds, which looks normal and comes from the proper angle. So tell me if Patrick is just good at video editing, or if there's truly a shadow person in his home, because I think something could be living down there rent free. Jake Atafi is in his living room, when someone pulls open the screen door really slowly and just lets it shut. No follow-up knock, no footsteps walking away, nothing. Even his dog is wondering what the deal is. Jake stops recording to check and claims no one was outside. It's creepy, but it's too bad he didn't record out of his window to prove that his house is as haunted as he says it is. This footage was taken at the Chapelfield Mall in Norwich, UK. The mall is closed when a mysterious red balloon makes an appearance out of nowhere. As you watch this balloon float around on its own, keep in mind that the air conditioning was off, the escalator was off, and there is supposedly no wind blowing in from the outside. If all of this is true, then how exactly did the balloon move without any air currents? Even more bizarre is how the balloon stays low to the ground the entire time almost at the height of a child. Could this balloon simply be half deflated, or is it being held by a youthful spirit? A YouTuber named Suspect Sky and his wife are convinced that something is waiting for them. Inside of their small closet, Suspect Sky slowly walks up to the closet and flings the door open, prepared for conflict, only to find nothing inside. They are relieved for just a moment and then decide to get out of the house anyway. Something is still in there waiting for them. They think they can feel its presence and just want to leave as fast as they can. And when they looked at the video again later, they found out they were absolutely correct. This mysterious video was taken during a tour of the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. The tour guide is talking about ghostly visitors from other time periods when something darts by low to the ground. The frilly dresses, the little breeches shorts, the nice little blouses. Many people agree that this looks like it could be one of the many variations of toy rabbits that were popular during the 18 and 1900s. I suppose it could just be a speck of dust or even computer generated effects. No one says anything out loud which is suspicious, but I did notice one of the girls looks down where the object was last moving and tracks it perfectly with her head. Maybe everyone there just thought they saw something out of the corner of their eye and weren't sure until they watched the video later. Are there ghosts all around us? That's what Tesla's tracker technology has me thinking. Posted to TikTok by Piero1519, this Tesla owner entered a cemetery where his vehicle's technology detected life or non-life nearby. A figure can be seen appearing digitally on the car's screen, clearly ahead into the far right of the car. Very, and look at this, and nobody's there. Ah, uh, the cemetery. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So I need to, it's, it shows it like a per Flashing his camera to the location indicated, Piero shows that there's no one there at all. All that's there are a couple of gravestones and an otherwise empty graveyard. Some in the comments are saying that the Tesla assumes the tombstone is a person, since it doesn't have a tombstone detection feature. But wouldn't the Tesla then detect people in anything human shaped that its technology hasn't been taught to identify? That would just be Weird. TikToker Namaste says, Ghost detection is an added feature of Tesla, but Leah Jordan takes a turn writing, It's all fun and games till it gets in the car with you. Let's hope that ghostly terror remained in its eternal bed. If insects aren't your thing, then this entry will highly test your bravery. This footage is of an insect swarm at the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa. The uploader writes, 
During our family holiday in 1996 or 7, we had parked the car and gone for a short walk up the cliffs. When we came back, we found that our car had become a hot spot for these giant wood lice, sea slaters. The clip shows piles upon piles of wood lice crawling around the car tires, an absolutely terrifying sea of insects, all coalescing beneath the vehicle. As the uploader says, probably attracted to its cozy comfiness. After seeing this, would you be brave enough to climb back in and leave? I thought not. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ding Dong Dingle Dude. This redditor wrote, My friend and I saw this weird floating structure in the sky. Has anyone else seen something like this before? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. What the Dude, that's just floating up there in this f***ing sky. What the f***? What the f***? It f***ing flashed. It, oh my, what? Dude, are you, are you recording? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Mountain Aviator One wrote, That is the mysterious radio tower. It's obstructed by clouds. Well, the Triple B thinks it's a weather balloon. What do you think this object is? Let me know in the comments. This creepy video comes from the equally creepy TikTok handle I'm watching, uploaded by user 2439525375589. The video shows someone indeed watching, taken from the vantage point of the watcher itself. A large sharp blade is used to open a home's window shutter slowly until a crack wide enough is made to look inside. Someone can be seen at home appearing oblivious to the person who's watching them, going about their business and shutting off the light. The watcher leaves shortly after. While creepy in and of itself, the soundtrack to the video certainly ups the ambience. Exploring with Danny is back, this time at an abandoned building rumored to have strange lights and other happenings. Within minutes of entering, they hear a humming noise that briefly morphs into strange piano music coming from the basement. As they round a corner, they find candles are placed in a circle. A woman with a pale face and long black hair turns to them, but I'm not exactly buying it. I mean, her shoes kind of look normal to me, so this could just be a regular person dressed up. Still, the way she continues to chase after them makes me wonder if she's a crazy person or if I'm wrong about her being a ghost completely. But skid or not, there really might be something lurking down there with them. Everyone is lurking at the corner on the left at the 7 minute mark, but what I want to know is what's up with the two different colored eyes in the back. Perhaps something was watching them this whole time. A Swedish YouTuber named Headgear, aka Daniel Olsen, has a paranormal corner of their home that always seems to be shuffling objects around. All Daniel has to do is set up a camera and wait. So everything from a phone to a baby monitor is making small movements one after the other. Most of the objects are already halfway off camera though, so therefore moving them wouldn't be that hard to fake. If that blue box moved in the back, I would be more convinced. Also, the fact that nothing on the top shelf moves makes me all the more suspicious. But hey, I guess the poltergeist could have just been interested in the bottom row. I wish he got more of the bottom area to show he wasn't moving stuff around himself. But to be fair, I think Daniel was also trying to get the mirror in the shot. Based on this next video I'm about to show you, at 5 seconds something smacks his camera, yet we see nothing in the mirror. Then this strange shadow makes barely discernible movements in the upper corner of the room, hardly visible unless you know where to look, and even then still fairly difficult to see. A YouTuber named Jimmy Maya is in the middle of a windswept field when he finds the absolute last thing you'd ever want to discover while metal detecting. Okay, well, next target is a bomb. Um, I can scratch that one off the bucket list. Wow, that thing is heavy. Jimmy does not seem afraid to handle the heavy object, which makes me think that maybe this was a dud. He says that there was once an active base near this location. Jimmy observes a random string of characters on the side of the object. If anyone can use this information to identify what kind of device this was, 
then I would really like to know. Maybe together we can figure out how much actual danger Jimmy Maya was in at the time. Terrence lives here, but I'm not going to reveal him. At least not yet. Take a look at his enclosure and give me your best guess as to what kind of pet Terrence is. There's a green structure for shelter and a piece of banana. So maybe Terrence is some kind of fruit-eating lizard, right? Well, there's no heat rock, so if a lizard was your guess, it was a good one, but no. Likewise, Terrence the Tarantula has a nice ring to it, but the bandana is not spider food, so that's a no-go as well. Okay, I'll tell you. Terrence is the giant, hissing cockroach of your nightmares. This creepy pet spans across all four fingers, and its backside still hangs over the end. Someone please tell me this roach is as big as it gets, because I can't imagine a larger one, or why someone would actually own own this as a pet. Could you ever see yourself getting attached to Terrence? Because Terrence will gladly attach itself to you. A man has been plagued by a demonic invasion that refuses to give him peace. On February 9th of 2017, he records not one, but two shadow figures ominously standing nearby. All you can do is hear his nasal breathing as he watches, stunned and trying not to scream, all while this heavy drape breathes in and out all by itself. Watch how it moves. That's not the wind. Besides, it was staying still for the past 4 minutes and 40 seconds prior, and you don't even want to see what's moving on his other window. I'll show you its true form in just a little bit, but for now let's focus on a couple different incidences first. On July 22nd of that same year, he is turning over a crystal again and again, possibly in hopes that some of its protective energy will rub off on him. Slowly but surely, this bright spot begins to manifest itself before his very eyes, starting at 1 minute and 33 seconds. Hope turns to horror as the omen spins around to reveal a grinning reptile-like face that he is sure is the lord of the underworld himself its stony face shrouded in half-darkness. This ties into a separate incident 12 days earlier on July 10th. That's when he claims to have recorded what he calls a ghoul lurking in the bush outside of his window. When you pause at 3 seconds, it does look like the top half of a skeletal face that soon disappears into the bushes, black eyes and all. That definitely wasn't a normal animal, so what was it? It looks remarkably similar to the face seen in the crystal nearly two weeks later. Sometimes it would show up in the most unlikely of places, like the folds of a piece of fabric as shown here on February 15th, 2017. Do you see the creepy goblin face with a long nose, big ears and open mouth? I can even see an eye. And that's the more friendly of the two faces. This second one looks like two worried eyes and a mouth locked in a permanent scream. There's not as much detail and some of the features are disproportionate and misshapen, but it's still there nonetheless. So now that you've seen the demon's face a few times, I suppose you are ready to see the rest of it and the rest of the original video. This is what he saw crawling into his home that fateful early February day. This upside down creature is in fact one of the many beings who he claims to see on the regular. It's hard to make out exactly what this is, but it's harder still to disprove it and it gives me a bad feeling all around. I tend to believe this video and all of these sightings for that matter. He claims the quality of the video has somehow sharply deteriorated over time since uploading, and that the being at one point looked more detailed and even had horns. I don't see how this is possible for a digital copy to become less clear, but the colors do look muted here and apparently were brighter. So I want to know if you think that this man is legitimately seeing demons around his house, or if this is all happening in his mind. As much as I want to believe this is a delusion like some people think it is, I don't necessarily agree. The problem is I do see a lot of what he claims on video, so there's a good chance it could be true. YouTuber Lance Stewart has always had his critics when it comes to his paranormal videos, but in this video, Lance doesn't claim he got possessed, but rather someone else who is just participating. They are doing a Ouija board challenge and actually managed to capture some interesting paranormal moments, most notably at the 8 minute and 42 second mark when the camera picks up an unknown voice saying, turn it off. Is it I love you? Yes! 
Is the ghost implying that it does not want to be filmed? Maybe this is a warning they should have heeded, because later in the day, well after they are done with the Ouija board, Lance finds his ex-girlfriend Lizzie acting very strangely. She's lying on the bed with her eyes rolled back, not saying a word. Lance sounds extremely concerned when she says it's just a prank. Do you think she was telling the truth, or did whatever possessed her just want to give Lance a false sense of security? Either way, this video should serve as an example of how you need to exercise massive caution when using a Ouija board. Melanie Bantel and her friends go on a road trip and end up buying a potentially cursed item, though none of them knew it at the time. The front and back of the album looks relatively normal, but when they play the record, it sounds just like someone yelling in an extremely deep voice. <laughs> what the hell? Melanie and her friends think this record is either cursed or else some sort of experimental music project, though it's hard to tell for sure since they don't play it for very long. I wonder if any of them experienced any bad luck after making this video. This poltergeist is not at all timid. Published by JCG Dragon in August of 2019, this scary video was filmed in a haunted home in Argentina. The video shows a bedroom door slamming as hard as it can. <laughs> The cameraman approaches the door, opens it, and in the opposite room, captures objects being thrown on the floor. Assumedly by the same poltergeist, the cameraman enters the room crying in fear. When he turns the corner, there is nothing there, but slamming is heard again. <laughs> and he turns to find the door from the other room has slammed shut again. And what's worse, the power goes out. It sounds like the camera is dropped to the floor. I know, no, 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 no. I know. Oh, no. What havoc will now ensue in the darkness? As the video ends there, it's left up to our imaginations. But judging from how these events are playing out, I can't think it's anything good. This video is short and sweet and will leave you frozen in fear. Shared by Twitter user Casos Paranormales. No context has been shared, so let's just watch. <laughs> Here's what I can collect is happening here. First off, the garbage scattered around the room is oddly unsettling. But this takes the cake. I'm not sure what's exactly happening in this video, but I do want to yeet it to the sun. This pair of videos will send you running. Posted to TikTok by Jen Barari, something is stalking around outside Jen's home in this first clip. Holy sh! Did you guys hear that? That was crazy. What made these noises? Yo, I swear to God, that wasn't me. The first whisper sounds like help to me. That was crazy. <gasps> but I'm not sure what the other noises are. Jen's second video is even freakier. Upon returning home in the night, she sees this. But a security camera captures something else. Many in the comments are freaked out that this spirit is mimicking her. 
It looks very much like Jen. Same length of hair and everything. It even kind of sounds like her in the first video. So is this spirit preparing itself to become her? I for one think so. Both clips are super suspect. Elton Mene Severo posted this video in January of 2006 of an unexpected visitor. While playing with his webcam, this dude is being watched by an otherworldly creature from his doorway. Unbeknownst to him, you can see the outline of the figure lurking and lurching creepily in the hallway before it vanishes into the darkness. When this guy finally notices the figure in his webcam, he gets up to investigate and he's never seen or heard from again. I made that last part up. I have no idea what this investigation turned up, but I do know one thing. I sure wouldn't want to run into whatever that thing was in the darkness. Mackie Albertson is a ghost hunter exploring haunted places full of skinwalker sightings to further investigate strange rumors of unknown creatures in the area. She's standing on ancient burial grounds when the bizarreness begins. This place is honestly so creepy. Just the feeling here is just eerie. Like, it's not super scary, it's just eerie. A voice in the dark sounds human, and moments before she gets creeped out. So basically, what had happened was... She's actually caught a ghost orb on camera. This place is honestly so creepy. That's when she has a creature sighting of her own, or so she says. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a coyote, there's a coyote, there's a coyote. There's a coyote. Oh, oh, there's a coyote. She very well could have seen a shape shifting skinwalker taking animal form. The camera goes out of focus like something is charging at her. This is the only time it happens. Hello, is someone here? <gasps> Save me. Plus, when she comes back later to the same spot, she gets more evidence in the form of two scary paranormal EVPs. Are there any skinwalkers in this area, area still? Freaky, right? TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. What did you say? Can you say that again? Right into the side of my thing? I heard you. A TikToker named Deadbeat TV is investigating a haunted farmhouse for traces of the paranormal when he gets an answer to his question in the form of a passing shadow. What did you say? Can you say that again? 
He is standing completely still, and yet something moves fast across the floor. The shadow is perfectly contained within this room and does not touch either side of the doorway at all. It doesn't come from behind. Something ran across this room, a low moving shadow with no body attached, and shortly after, this second ghostly shadow reaches out. This seems like something paranormal to me. A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Oh! Oh, yeah. Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. Steer clear of this swampland. It is home to prehistoric reptiles. Published by MD Star Beast in May of 2022, the YouTuber is wondering what this creature is. Surrounded by lily pads, a snake-like head protrudes from the swampland. It's very still, but seems to be rising up out of the water. Is it an eel of some kind? Some obscure reptile? A water dragon? What is your theory? Al Capone has long held an obsession with exploring the scariest, most haunted places he can find. One of his creepiest videos ever has to be the time he went investigating a local cemetery at 3 a.m. God, I'm freaked out. <sighs> Can you do that again or maybe move that light switch? Turn on that light for me? The ghost does not turn off the lights, but what he accidentally caught on camera next convinced his subscribers and freaked them out. A ghostly figure appears beyond the stairs. He stares back to where it was, like he senses something so I think this paranormal sighting might be real. No random person would be at the cemetery at 3am. It could be a maintenance worker. 
which would explain why the closet door was open earlier. But that doesn't explain the strange noise coming from within the room, or why his light flickered when he heard it. Two months later, he takes a 15-minute hike through the woods to go exploring what he calls one of the most haunted places in the world, the Blair Witch House. We weren't here previously to us documenting this place. Hello? Is anybody in this home? I'm just making a video. good phone reception so if something was to happen to me I just hate this place <sighs> yo this place is so scary I heard something in the kitchen this place makes my anxiety run so high I don't know if you remember me. I'm sure you do. I've done so many investigations here and I've caught you on camera many times. What the f What was that? The spirit takes him in circles, toying with him in his rising fear. I'm starting to feel like I'm hallucinating a little bit. Somebody back there. I'm not playing if someone's back there. Oh my I hate this house. I'm not messing around. I want you to reveal yourself. Whoa! It's happening again, dude. I hate this house, bro. They need to tear this place down. Oh! Oh! Yo! I'm closing this door. Yo. No. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there's a bat in the name of Jesus. There's a bat right there. Oh. He's freaking out and cornered when a bat flies under the door. It's seriously creepy and I don't know how this can be faked unless he somehow has a pet bat on hand, which I doubt. When he opens the door, no one's there. This investigation's a little too paranormal for his own good. Time to bail. My final analysis of both these ghost videos is that they are probably real. The first one might have been a cemetery groundskeeper, but it might have been a ghost and either way I don't think it was planned at all. The Blair Witch House video could have been a second person off camera, except for that bat under the door. Also, the Blair Witch House has been investigated by multiple channels, and the paranormal activity is fairly consistent, so I don't think he was faking any of it. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Vision Quest Outdoors is exploring the Gettysburg field when he has what he believes is a real video of a ghost sighting. The video is pretty scary and I think he could be right. Let's take a look at the paranormal evidence and try to figure out what it was he and his friends say on that night. What is that? Oh my god. What am I seeing now? No way there's a guy out here at 2 a.m. According to the uploader, they turned around only to find the figure had mysteriously disappeared. Swing around. 
dog. This is the footage from when they turned around, but unfortunately it's too dark to make out very much one way or another. I believe what he says is true because if I'm not mistaken, this footage is from the same location during the day. There are cannons lined up here but no statue whatsoever. If this was the same location, then this definitely has to be a real ghost sighting caught on video. Claire Julian has a guest over when they both notice her paper dragon wall ornament is swaying slightly. Zoom in and you'll see the very bottom swings back and forth, hardly noticeable unless you really were looking. There is no draft and the air conditioner is not on. They aren't sure what to make of it, so Claire half-jokingly challenges the ghost to do better, which I'm not so sure was a good idea. You have to do better than that. Thank you. I was thinking that this movement could have been the minute hand of the clock hanging behind it, but Claire says that this clock doesn't work anymore, and now that I think about it, I didn't hear any ticking. Therefore, I think Claire probably has a poltergeist in her home, one that she should stop challenging. Amit Daksh has caught some scary activity at the Babina station in India that he thinks could be paranormal. He's filming a train pass by when a shadow figure passes in front of him at 20 seconds. He thinks this could be a real ghost sighting he's caught on tape, but I'm wondering if it's his own shadow under the train's bright lights. Something's weird about the angle though, so maybe it's a real person or a shadow figure like he claims. Freaky, right? A small flying white cylinder has been spotted multiple times in this area 51 mountain range. I don't think this is CGI because the video quality does not look blurry at all and is pretty good for the mid 90s. This is just about the same uh, area, a similar metallic uh, object. Keep in mind that this was decades before drones were available, so it can't be that. The UFO is also too big to be a remote controlled helicopter, which was pretty much the only thing that could hover like this back then. So I definitely agree that this could be a UFO. <laughs> A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. <laughs> I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? A TikToker named Jordan Dreyer rides down a rainy road when he and his friends see a lone woman crossing the road. Upon seeing them, she stops and turns their way. Her white robes fluttering in the wind and considers them as they pass. Her face is gray and ashen, as pale as her clothing, which I guess could be makeup, I guess if this video isn't real. But as they pass, when the video plays frame by frame, one of her eyes seems to glow unnaturally, possibly marking the exact moment when a curse passes between them and possibly onto anyone who watches this video, including you. I will say that this could be scripted. There are no other cars on the road, but they are traveling at a slow speed, almost as if they knew she was there. But like I said, the weather wasn't good that night, so maybe he's being a safe driver. Another possibility is that something bad had just happened to a real person and she needed their help, in which case whatever she was trying to get away from could have very well caught up with her again after they drove away. While at the Miami Air and Sea Show, David Sugarman spotted something unusual while reviewing his videos. Watch closely and you'll see a vertical object fly up in front of the plane.
David says he filmed the video in slow motion, so whatever this object is, it's moving fast. Let's see it again. While some Twitter users think this could be a drone, David says there were no drones allowed because of the air show. Most agree that it does appear to come out of the water, and it looks that way to me as well. It's definitely a UFO in that it's an unidentified flying object, but is it that kind of UFO? You know, the kind we all want it to be. I'm stumped on this one. A YouTuber who goes by the one and only Spud Bud has been hearing scary noises outside of his house every night. Strange and mysterious sounds coming from the sky. It always seems to happen between 4 and 5 in the morning when it's still dark outside. Listen to this and tell me what you would do if you were woken up by this noise. It's hard to tell if the sky sounds are coming from an animal or a machine, or perhaps even some living mixture of both, whatever it is. It sounds tremendously large and about to crush his house. On Thursday, after four days of scary noises, the one and only Spud records the creepiest video of all. This is when it sounds less mechanical and more like a creature, but tell me what you think it is. <laughs> A low rumble pierces the sky with enough force to make the floorboards of his house creak. One thing that makes me think this is real is how he never leaves his home to go outside. Instead, he paces around his house nervously hoping that the sound will go away. And it looks like a realistic reaction. Well, most people believe this is real. One person said they analyzed the clip and found it was edited. They said they would link the sound file but never did, so their claims have not been supported. Let me know if you have ever heard this noise from any movies or other popular media. Maybe together we can figure this one out. A man is testing out his GoPro when a mysterious sea creature is caught on camera in deep waters. Look closely behind him. You'll just barely see a small black object move in the waves before mysteriously disappearing back to wherever it came. He suspects this bizarre sighting could have been anything from a great white to an orca whale, or something smaller like an otter or a seal is not out of the question. That's a big difference and not something you'd want left up to your imagination while floating on a kayak by yourself with nothing around for miles. The creature does not resurface and ultimately leaves them alone. He's not sure which mysterious creature is responsible for this suspenseful moment caught on GoPro, but there's always a chance of an even closer encounter next time. This place just might be haunted by something nefarious. Published by Humboldt Pet Supply in October of 2018, the store's security camera footage reveals a series of creepy incidents that cannot be explained. The first involves a package falling off a shelf on its own. The shop attendant continues to shelve items and then heads over to put the package back. A moment later, after she walks away, the package falls from the shelf again. This time, it also moves across the floor a bit on its own. Another clip shows a cat named Diego pacing the shop. An incongruent shadow cat appears in the light from the doorway. There don't appear to be any other cats in the store but the real and the shadow one. In a third clip, another package falls from its place and moves strangely across the floor. It drifts slowly until it catches Diego, the cat's attention. As the cat approaches attentively, the package moves, causing Diego to jump. The cat paws it for a second before he decides he wants nothing to do with this. The package continues across the floor on its own. Is this perhaps the shadow cat playing around with the real one? Seems pretty catty to me. Is my house haunted? Writes a user named BB5432 on the haunted subreddit. This paranormal video of their place was caught on a neighbor's doorbell cam across the street who later showed it to her out of concern. It doesn't look like much at first, but there's actually a lot of creepy things going on in this video that you might not see. 
But first, let's start with the basics. The Reddit poster claims her house was completely dark when these mysterious, unexplained lights started flashing all around the door. The television in the living room was not on, she says, and even if it were on, it's facing the opposite way at an angle that would not create this effect at all. Whether or not to believe her is up to you. I do because the flashing seems too bright for a television and takes up the whole window at times. Nobody would watch a television screen that bright because it would undoubtedly hurt to look at for that long. And at 25 seconds, the creepy light grows even brighter and does not subside until the video ends. BB5432 later posted, she has no further reason to think their house is haunted, but still struggles to explain what this was if not a ghost. She adds the same thing happened to her years ago. The same neighbor showing her and her husband lights in their door, and nobody could figure it out then either. Someone said they should check the electrical wiring in that room, which I agree is a good move. But other than that, everyone else says this is super weird and even she has to admit she's creeped out. There's also one more weird thing that I wasn't even going to mention except she saw it too. A shadow figure in the doorway. You can see it whenever the lights go down, but it's probably most apparent at 4 seconds. I took a still image and zoomed in. Here it is with no special effects whatsoever. The outline of a shadow figure looking out the window. Tell me if you can see it too. I'd say that house is haunted. If that's not a resident. Joe Pacini is obsessed with a singer named Sarah Bareilles, and he believes their destiny is to be together forever. He makes a bizarre YouTube video ranting about how members of the occult, the CIA, and the FBI are all working together to frame him and keep this romance from happening. Clearly, clearly these guys want me dead or in prison. And there's no way in I'm going back to prison. Nope. The video is hard to understand because of his disjointed, rambling logic, but apparently there was some kind of incident at the local gym, and now a police detective is calling Joe's number. Hello, my name is Matt Huffnell. I'm a detective with Haverford Township PD. I'm trying to reach Joe Pacini concerning an incident a report that was made at the LA Fitness here in Havertown. Joe, could you give me a call at your earliest convenience? This simple request sends Joe over the edge. Instead of calling the investigator back, Joe makes a series of YouTube videos threatening the investigator along with his entire department. You want to try to bring me down? I will kill you and your whole family, all right? So go ahead. Joe switches from calm and collected to yelling and screaming as he tells everyone to back off. He eventually calls the detective back and leaves a message telling him to check out his YouTube channel for more information. The police eventually find Joe driving around and immediately pull his vehicle over. According to their report, Joe backed his car into a cruiser and they took his life immediately. I was never able to find out what happened at the gym. So if you know why the police initially contacted him, then please let me know. This video was supposedly taken by a robotic camera while surveying an old oil tanker. A school of fish briefly swims in front of the camera, and suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear in front of the camera. Something fast swims by to collect the fish shortly after. Many people believe that this video demonstrates the possibility of some kind of advanced sea creature who uses tools to hunt. After all, there's no reason for a person to be this far underwater hunting with a spear, and whatever moves in front of the camera is too fast to be a person. Of course, the obvious answer is CGI, but I would love to get your thoughts. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious.
ever wish you had supernatural powers? Well, this video supposedly shows a Thai girl who discovered she did. When she was driven to anger at a bus stop, the video shot in Thailand begins with a girl smack talking someone as she leaves the bus. She is being held back by a friend who remains quiet. The girl continues to point and exchange some heated words with the driver, who steps down from his post to return fire. Spectators watch from the ground, and others hang out of windows to witness the exchange. The shouting match continues in Thai with plenty of pointing and aggression. Another guy tries to intervene. He shouts at the girl and goes to slap her, but before he can, he is thrown back by a supernatural force. The spectators scream. The origin of this force seems to not be the shouting girl, but her silent friend who stood behind her. The quiet girl then steps forward and points her hand out, palm forward, and the bus driver flies up the side of the bus before dropping to the ground. The girl looks at her hands in amazement, as though this is the first time she's realized she has these scary supernatural powers. Everyone is quiet and staring at the girl. She turns in a circle, puts her hands out again, and a table and chairs fly backward. The bus driver yells at her, and she makes him fly into the air again, and even her friend backed away and won't come near her. The video ends with the girl looking down at her hands, collapsing to the ground, shaking and screaming shrilly, while the footage appears all too real, with no strings attached. Many in the YouTube comments call it out as a fake. YouTuber Pei Pina says, I'm Thai, and Thai people like to make dramas with superpowers like this. Well, Jacob Zamet notes, The biggest flaw in this video is the fact that no one else is talking while the argument progresses, letting the main characters in this film be heard as the girl and the guy take turns. He also notes that video cameras or cell phones with video components, and it's unlikely that someone who just levitated would have another go at the person who just did it. All good points. Still a scary and intriguing video. You kind of wish it was real. Three friends are driving down some back roads late at night when they've caught something on video that has people questioning what was on the side of the road. <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? It's a dog, isn't it? Can you hear that growling? The creature looks at them as they question whether or not it's been hit and needs their help. While it goes deeper into the forest, they feel like they should get out of the car and check to see if it's alright. <gasps> I'm really scared. Tom! <gasps> Where is it? Is it in the bush? A deep growling sound coming from the woods keeps them from exploring any closer. They are pretty sure this isn't someone's dog, like they thought, but they aren't sure what to do next. That's when the decision is made for them. Run. Is it? it sounds really close. Right, get in the car now, Tom. The comments and likes for this video were split 50-50 between believers and skeptics. I might have thought this was real if I watched it just one time, but upon closer analysis, it's pretty obvious this was somebody in a creature costume on their hands and knees. When you look at their feet at 22 seconds, there are no claws and you can tell this is a costume that you step into, or at least that's what I think. Tell me what you make of this bizarre encounter caught on a full moon that night. A YouTuber named Blake M thinks he accidentally recorded a strange message while filming himself on the side of the road. Listen carefully and see if you can hear it for yourself. The message is very brief, so if you didn't hear it, then turn up your volume and listen to this version with subtitles. Right around when Blake smooths over his hair, you can hear a distant voice suddenly say, Help me, in an urgent tone. It's possible that he edited in this voice later, or maybe it was someone yelling from a passing car, but if not, then this could be evidence of someone asking for help from the afterlife. This video is the launching point of one wild ride. 
posted to the Ring subreddit, Midship92 explains that his neighbor messaged, asking him to check on his wife who was home alone because someone was trying to get inside. After going to check and finding no one, this friendly neighbor went back home, only to find this Ring video footage had been sent to him. The clip shows what the man just missed, a shirtless creep crawling up the front steps of the home, hiding his face away before trying the door in an attempt to break in. The man then lets himself down the steps and walks off. The Redditor adds in the comments, After doing this to several houses and evading police, he was finally caught. Finding the man was quite an ordeal. The Redditor elaborates further, explaining that during the police search, the suspect kept disappearing only to be seen again minutes later. After trying to catch the guy for nearly an hour, only for him to vanish into thin air, the police abandoned the search. Left to his own devices, the man again tried to get in through another neighbor's back door. But the Redditor saw him from his deck. He chased the man into another neighbor's crawl space and stood guard there until the police returned. Thankfully, the wild goose chase led to the wild goose being caught. This video was taken somewhere in South America, and it shows a man sitting on a table at a security monitoring station. Little does he know that he too is apparently being monitored, and not by a camera. After a while, this is what happens to him. Even the people reviewing the footage can't believe what they are seeing. Not only does a nearby chair move on its own, but it also moves in his general direction. It's almost as if the ghost is pulling up a seat directly across from him. Unbelievably, the man doesn't seem to notice this paranormal activity unfolding before him. At least at first, he is looking at his cell phone when suddenly it happens again. This time he sees it, and his reaction seems very legitimate as he becomes startled and tense. He looks behind him to make sure that the security camera is recording all of this for later evidence. Then he hops off the table and stares at the chair before him. Obviously scared now, he waits for it to move again, but it doesn't, so he goes over to inspect it more closely. This is probably the most convincing part of the video, because he would have seen a fishing line if it was a fake prank. Instead, he picks the chair up, puts it back in its place, and then puts a stand in front of it and gets out of there fast. I'm not saying that this video is absolutely 100% real, but it is certainly a possibility. Vorkuta was a coal mining settlement during the Soviet era. It has since become a semi-deserted wasteland. Published by Vagabond, this adventure seeker went to check out the ghost town at the end of the world. Here is roughly more than 200 people. On the background of such amount of abandoned buildings, an active mine looks surrealist. Traveling there by train, the only accessible means of transport to the area, he encounters the first steam engine that ever appeared in the area in 1944. The once thriving city was served by 13 coal mines in its heyday. Where workers received a good salary and twice the pay they might back home due to the added northern coefficient pay. Directly across from clean, bright offices are empty, derelict buildings. Other empty structures are topped with massive piles of snow. Atop an enormous nine story building is a phrase that translates to glory to the conquerors of Arctic territories. Vagabond also takes in the coal miners' quarters, located on the Vorkuta River embankment. Would you be able to live in this half-abandoned Arctic town? You'd better learn to love the cold. Don't invite a witch to your birthday party. They aren't the best gift givers. Published by Scary Girl in June of 2020. This CCTV footage is about to give you chills. The residents of this home had been finding strange things outside on their front steps delivered to them in the middle of the night, including lifeless animals. Could it be a cat leaving presents? The residents installed security cameras, and in March of 2015 at around 3 in the morning, these cameras captured a figure hobbling toward their front steps from a distance. The figure looked like an old woman in a dress. The woman bends down and places the object on the front steps and then hurries away. Another camera captures her walking off. In the morning, the family found a crow missing its head on their doorstep. So the question is, why did this witch leave a headless crow for the family? 
Is it part of a curse? I can't imagine the answer is anything good. While visiting a friend at a high school, these girls spotted strange flickering light inside, writing that it was flashing in a pattern. Posted by Babitz Manda to the Ghosts subreddit, the Redditor notes that this is the boys' and the girls' locker rooms. Only the boys was acting up earlier, and now they're both flickering. Some suggest it's a rave. Others think it may just be faulty wiring or the fire alarm being tested. But MTN do 891 finds something else particularly unsettling. He writes, "Why do the locker rooms have windows so large and close to the ground? That's what I find creepy." That's a good point. So maybe their story is not what's actually going on here. Nevertheless, this either had to be a major electrical malfunction or else the work of something paranormal. I just wish there was more video evidence so we could decide for sure. A bizarre unknown creature sighting needs more attention because it's beyond creepy. Melly sees you is watching the sun come up over a riverbank in Ormond Beach, Florida. Her moment of tranquility is replaced with fear when this comes floating her way. I don't know what this is. That is a body or something. I don't know what that is. She follows it along the riverbank for as long as possible before the current grows strong and takes the odd object. Melly describes it as having scales more like a snake than a fish and also says she legitimately thought it was something from another planet when she first caught the creature on camera because of the huge size and weird shape. I don't know what that is. It looks like an alien. Look at that. Camera won't focus. Oh my. To her, this looks like the snout of a humanoid creature with rows of sharp teeth. I tried to find a picture of a similar fish in the area, but admittedly was unable to. And maybe it's just the reflection, but it looks like it could be much larger underwater. She says if this was a fish, then nobody has been able to show her a picture of what it is. Let's help her solve this mysterious unexplained video, because to be honest, I'm not sure what this mysterious figure is either. If none of us can figure out a better answer, then maybe we have to continue see that a strange creature is in fact lurking around this region of Florida. Beware of the shadows. When at Donovan Mill, the historic mining site in Silver City, Nevada, has a reputation, and it's not a good one. At least one documented incident of someone taking their own life has been recorded there. Perhaps it's the spirit from this unfortunate history that lingers in the mill. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Facts by James TV writes, At 24 minutes 30 seconds, you could see a shadow-like figure down the hallway. At the very same space, it is known to be haunted by a spirit named John that is very protective about that area. At the timestamp in question, you can see what James is talking about. He said he felt a presence, so they stopped and shined the flashlight down at the end of the hall. A small shadow figure appears there. Casting light down that way doesn't make it disappear. What do you think about this creepy catch? Would you have the guts to venture down the hall to investigate? A YouTuber named Jordan Bew is about to get some food with his brother Jeremy and some friends when he sees a tiny lizard hanging out by the pool. He doesn't want to hurt the little guy, so he takes it outside and goes to set it free, but it winds up taking a wrong turn. Go get him. Get him, bud. Oh, he's in your hair! No! <laughs> oh, he's on your head! Oh. He's, he's nuts. Jordan's friend goes for the close-up, but accidentally scares it towards the safety of his hair. Only its tail is sticking out and then it's fully gone. They give it some time and let it resurface. It may have changed to the same color as his hair, and you can barely see it at this point. Finally, they scoop it out and set it free, but the lizard almost doubles back for another round and jumps on one of their shoes. Fortunately, it is not a repeat performance, and they are able to shoo it away. He has gotten into some crazy adventures in the past, but staying at this abandoned factory until 3 a.m. is probably one of the wildest yet. Outside, he finds a collection of what could be someone's belongings out in the forest, but decides to continue anyway. As soon as he puts his camera down to climb inside, he hears this noise. Wait. 
which I think sounds like a door being slammed as hard as possible. When he finally comes across an entrance, he finds the door has been kicked hard many times, like somebody leaves this way every day. Though to be honest, the footprints look to be about his shoe size, so maybe it was him. On the floor are dried red stains and a massive red streak across the wall that I think is paint, or at least I hope so. And that's when he hears it again, the same sound as before. Reaching the door and this. Like, what the f Someone's kicking doors open. Do they know he's here? Soon he comes across more red stains, but I think it's almost definitely paint considering the red wall has a similar streak on it as well. He's exploring various old burned out rooms. When it comes back, the same noise as before. Guys, that was loud as f Two bangs coming from opposite sides. He must be surrounded. The fact that Hype Mike is not taking off by now makes me think this almost has to be fake, and this explanation is really unlikely. What the f that was? Maybe it was like a bird or something. But just when I started to doubt this video, this really strange sound plays. This doesn't sound like the wind to me, especially how it ends, but tell me what you think it is and if it's paranormal. What the f Hype Mike makes it to nightfall without hearing any further noises. Maybe it's gone for now, whatever it is. He's trying to figure out a place to get some rest and wait out the rest of the challenge, but that's when the noises start again. Yo! Something just moved in there. Hello? I I actually... The room where it came from is completely empty, but the complex is still occupied by something that has been waiting for the right time to strike, and that time is now. Hype Mike runs out of there fast, but makes the mistake of taking one last look. Do you think this is one of his friends or a person who's lost their mind? This video was recorded more than five years ago. It shows the pointer moving around the Ouija board on its own at first, but then it somehow levitates and begins flying away. There's a good chance that this is CGI. At least, that's the only explanation that I can think of besides actual spirits. KT Camp records her overhead lights swaying back and forth. They start out moving clockwise, but at the end of the video, they are starting to move the other way. Maybe she twisted up the cord on purpose to make it do this, but that doesn't explain the orbs. There's an especially large one here that is different from the others in size, shape and speed as well. Real haunting or just a fake attempt in a dusty kitchen? You tell me. A coffee shop in New Jersey, known only as the cafe, is rumored to be quite haunted. This used to be a hardware store long ago, and every day at 3 in the afternoon the old owner is said to still make rounds. A paranormal investigation team sets up a camera to test the rumor out, and sure enough, at 3 in the afternoon this light anomaly plays against the wall. It looks like someone is walking through the room at first, but then again, it could simply be light reflecting off the window of a vehicle driving by. Roughly half an hour later is when a second camera records this chair moving by itself. First it pulls out and then it smoothly goes back into place, like somebody sitting at the table. There are no strings on the legs and no visible shadow on the wall, so I think it could have been a ghost like they say it was. The ghost hunters also claim to have heard footsteps too, but unfortunately the video evidence does not have sound, so there's no way to verify that part of their investigation. This happened in May of 2020, so hopefully we get more potential ghost sightings from this coffee shop in the near future. Take a look at this picture of Patty and Joe Martinez. Do you see anything wrong? Maybe if I circle it for you, it will help. 
This hideous creature over his shoulder looks like a dog at first, but its nose is too flat and pushed in, and the top row of human teeth form a snickering sneer. The yellow eyes are open as wide as possible, and there's a tiny pupil at the very bottom, meaning it is looking down at you. Photo experts have verified this picture is real, which is absolutely terrifying. After all, there's no reason for anything that scary to be anywhere near a wedding anniversary, especially behind you. What if you walked into a grocery store and the man across the aisle did this? Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Caligram, this video will make you cringe and then maybe throw up a little in your mouth. This is not an illusion. The man in this video, Alexander, is a Russian gymnast who can turn his head 180 degrees. During gymnastics, he discovered that his body was incredibly flexible, particularly his vertebrae. He wanted to test how far this flexibility could go, so he decided to push himself. Alexander explains, I worked on this step by step, going a little further each time, and one day I was able to turn my head all the way around. When I do, it takes energy from my whole body. The complete 180 is like a horror movie. It only took some practice for the gymnast to twist his head around like an owl, but that's not true for just anyone. Alexander's doctor suggests the next swiveling ability is not an act that you can train for. He thinks the trait is congenital. The doctor recommends not to try this at home. For Alexander, though the party trick takes complete concentration to pull off, the act fills his body with a strange energy, and he doesn't feel like himself in the moment. Still, he calls it absolutely normal and says the twisty neck doesn't hurt one bit. Funny, it hurts me just to see it. While light can certainly play tricks on us, and on a camera, things can get creepy. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit, Garno7 explains that he and some friends were hanging around their campfire near a lake, and one of them captured this on his phone. The clip shows a figure appearing to run from their group of people into the roaring flames, watches the camera pans from left to right. Can you see it? While many in the comments say the figure is nothing but a lens flare, a couple redditors counter that argument. Redditor Patrick RS Ghost writes, At first I thought it was some flare or something due to the transition from dark to light very quickly, but when I looked closer I could see something start to move within the crowd at around the two second mark, almost to the left of the little girl in the pink sweater, right as the camera starts to pan. And upon looking again, I can totally see what this redditor is talking about. So now I think there's a good chance this could be paranormal, because when you take the time, it seems to sync up. Warning, don't enter a dark and disturbing abandoned house at night. Posted by Car Records in 2010, the team is exploring an abandoned house at night when they zoom in on a corner of the room. In that dark corner, behind various obstructions, appears a creepy girl doll. The disturbing sight causes them to race from the room. Wouldn't you? I don't think they had any other choice. A haunted home in Italy that has been the subject of many failed exorcisms has some incredible paranormal activity caught on tape that almost has to be trick photography. Tell me how this was done before I wake up screaming tonight. It almost looks too well done to be computer editing. Odd lights hang around shortly after. Gavin Blackshire leaves his property, and he is certain they're supernatural. The lights move over one car and back again. Never breaking their vertical formation. Someone in the comments says that it's just a spider web with rain droplets up close. I believe this explanation, but at the same time it's really weird how nothing appears until the moment he leaves. You think winter roads are bad, and you've probably never ridden your bike here. This incident occurred in India in 2018. The uploader explains that it was his third day of riding from indoor to Pangong Lake, and he had just partnered with another rider who joined him on his solo trip. He writes that the pass was slippery that day and was loaded with trucks. 
The result is a close call his friend met with, which he caught on camera. The footage shows the pair of bikers on a narrow mountain road with nothing but a cliff edge and a 100 plus foot fall to their right. In front of them is a truck transporting heavy metal poles. As they follow quite closely behind this truck, it looks as though his friend is going to attempt to overtake the vehicle on the cliff side with little to no shoulder. But that attempt comes to a quick end when his heavy bike with all his belongings piled onto the back loses traction on the slushy ground. It falls on to its side dangerously near the cliff edge. If he'd been even a foot nearer the edge, he would have been a goner. As fate would have it, his life was spared that day, and as Banda writes, hopefully this teaches other riders to ride safe, live long. A YouTuber in Italy named Alessio Rubes is experimenting with a homemade Ouija board that apparently works far better than he thought. C'è qualcuno che vuole parlare con me? His ghost hunting app goes off at the exact moment his dog goes on full alert, and then things get scarier from there. Lo sarà vedere, ga? Alessio leaves the room to investigate, and his dog literally screams at something in the hallway. He turns around to find the light. Two rooms over is mysteriously moving, on its own. He spends a moment calming down the poor pup who is now cowering under a chair and looks very scared indeed, further lending legitimacy to this already creepy enough video. When he goes to investigate the light, he finds it still steadily moving. I don't see how you can fake that kind of reaction from a dog, so I think this ghost sighting video is real. Mo Sargi is exploring an old train station that's supposed to be haunted. A few things happen during this expedition, two of which are so subtle that no one notices. The group keeps saying that they hear a little girl crying, but you can't hear it very well so I won't bother including it here. Still, at around 6 minutes and 50 seconds into the video, they come across very tiny handprints smeared across the window of a train. None of them seem to notice, but if you look closely, you'll see them here. Maybe these prints belong to whoever or whatever was crying earlier. Later, Mo and his friends are joking about a ghost named Tom when suddenly a voice chimes in. Is Tom a girl? I think Tom is here. Is Tom a girl? Many people think that the voice is clearly saying hi. Let me know if you hear it and whether or not you agree. The three friends eventually trip an alarm and rush off the property, completely unaware of the numerous paranormal encounters they have recorded. A social security office is a pretty strange building to be haunted, but a YouTuber named Joshua Bragg is convinced. After capturing two of the scariest moments on CCTV video that he still cannot explain. Back up a little bit, there it goes, down here in the corner. It's not a bug, people. I don't know what this is. I always know that there's a ghost in this place. So creepy. I was thinking this dark, orb-like figure was an insect, except here's the thing. Joshua has seen the same figure before on a different security camera, in a different room, on a different night. Last time, it went out the back entrance and walked across the parking lot in a straight line. Right here. That is no bug. That is no bug. I think he's right because an insect walking across should look like a solid black shape. Whatever this is looks translucent and is therefore most likely something paranormal. Oh, and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old fashioned clothes from another time period. She is floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl with the camera follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. 
They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. This is one of the more popular videos that many people feel is clear evidence of Bigfoot. The video looks a little too blurry for me to be sure, but I don't recognize this scene from any movie or television series, so it could very well be real. If it is real, however, my only question is why this five second clip is so short. Maybe this person became afraid for their life, when spotted, and abruptly ran for cover. You have probably heard that name, as La Llorona has become quite the legend, especially in Mexico and Latin America, where this video has been getting a ton of attention. This clip, which has been racking up millions of views, appears to be a forest cam video. You can see a figure slowly move across the forest with very slow movements. While many have claimed this is the infamous legend, the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it. Nevertheless, even the slightest possibility of this video being real is enough to make it impossible to look away from. When exploring the deepest depths of a mine shaft, the last thing you want to run into is the paranormal. Proving Demons claimed their crew did just that. Publishing this video recently in May of 2019, the YouTube team writes, During a routine exploration of an abandoned mine shaft and railway tunnel, we saw something unbelievable as we turned a corner into a tunnel. The mine itself is creepy enough. You can hear water running and dripping. It's muddy dark, and to put it simply, it's not a place you'd want to meet another being passed away or alive, and about 17 minutes into the exploration video, it appears they do. A light can be seen in the dark distance. What the hell is that? Is this a mine? I don't know. You guys, what the heck? Why is there a light down here? We can't walk through that. Is there noise there? Why is there a light at the end of this mine shaft? Only the ghost holding its candle could answer that. The team doesn't stick around to find out, and who can blame them? The fact that a light was visible so deep in the mine gives me no other choice but to believe this is paranormal. A YouTuber named Leo Tran is challenged to throw a plastic bottle cap into a trash bag from across the room. At one minute into the video, you can see something is out of the ordinary, but at one minute and 23 seconds, you can see a small face pop up in the window. The small face stays in the window for approximately 33 seconds and does out of the way when Leo goes to collect the trash bag. Does this look real or edited to you? Two friends are playing around with a camera in an old basement. I won't even tell you what to look for. Just watch and see if you can find anything out of the ordinary. Bars down and I go, okay. Now we're gonna do some weight lifting. Here it is again if you missed it. Let me know if you saw this supposed shadow person on the first try. I will admit that you have really good eyes if you did. If this video is real and not just someone who is dressed up, then this is definitely one of those videos that makes you wonder what other possibly paranormal events have gone on right in front of you without noticing. Amy Admin wonders if an actual apparition was caught on home security camera haunting her place. Her strange sighting happened at 7 in the morning. A vaguely human-shaped figure walks to the curb and mysteriously disappears. Some scary stuff is going on across the street from her house. Or is it? Perhaps it is a reflection of a car hitting the brakes. The alleged apparition does seem to come and go with the appearance of a car. The only problem with this theory is that there's nothing here for the brake lights to reflect off of. Maybe a piece of glass on the ground or something. So what's been caught on tape? Paranormal activity or a trick of light? I don't know and now I'm as creeped out as Amy Admin is. This poltergeist is throwing a tantrum. Published by Derek Hall in February of 2021, the angsty geist is first seen slamming a door in the cameraman's face. Exhilarated that he caught it on camera, the man races to the door and opens it, finding no one inside. Yes, I caught it! <laughs> what the 
He runs back through, asking the poltergeist to repeat the action, but the door remains open. One of the crew enters the room while the others stand outside, watching the door. They approach and the door closes again. It isn't clear if the other crew member was inside the room, as there was a cut in the video. It doesn't seem like he exited. They apologize for angering the poltergeist and say they will leave. Alright, I'm gonna open the door and that's it. We're gonna leave, okay? Sorry for f***ing off. But that's not without one last slam. This time coming from some shutters off to the right, I assume. Is this spirit moving around them, or is it all encompassing? <laughs> Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. Don't oh, swear it's in it. Just go away. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost. Except for one thing, there are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest, but the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person, and there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. Don't believe in unknown beings? What if one strolled right up to tap on your window? This unknown being footage, posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 77 Curen, will inspire you to take a trip over to Area 51. The footage shows an unknown being approach the window of a home. Its features are quite clear, with black gashes for eyes and an elongated cranium. You know, the kind of features you might expect from an unknown being. The unknown being stands there, peering into the home observing. It even looks as though it's trying to find a way to open the window. If that is indeed what it's doing, it doesn't succeed, instead slinking off, perhaps to find the homeowner to take him. What do you think of this unknown being footage, real or fake? Either way, I'll be locking my windows tonight. I heard someone crying in that hallway over there. I think it was the ghost girl, guys. Down the hallway is a little ghost girl who is said to haunt this house at night and sob. I don't know what that noise was. More of a whisper than crying. Like something paranormal is speaking to him in strange tongues. But I want to know what you hear. Here it is again. Dude. What was that? When scary voices are whispering from the corner of a dark room in the middle of the night, it's time to make a fast exit. He could be moments away from a possession. Restaurant workers from Sansom Park in Texas think they've caught an authentic ghost sighting on CCTV video. A dark paranormal mist that exits the passenger side and goes into the building. I would say that this was an insect crawling across the camera, but watch closely and at 2 minutes and 4 seconds you'll see a flicker of lines across the screen moments before the ghost appears. EMF interference like this could be an indication of something paranormal. They felt this place was haunted for a long time and are finally excited to have proof. Tell me if you believe them. What if we are living in a simulation? Cross posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The cross poster suggests that this is visual proof that the universe is updating now. The video footage shows a spinning wheel of light in the sky, the type you see on your computer screen when the system is buffering. 
The wheel is seen at a distance and then close up. The short clip offers no explanation, leaving Redditors to reach the most extreme conclusions. Maybe they're just looking to get some of that McDonald's. There's a little ghost girl in my hallway, says a YouTuber named Kylie Fisher, and I agree. You can probably see it too if you know to look here. If you stare into the darkness long enough, you'll see it. The barely noticeable outline of a figure with its arms down, neck bent, staring ahead. It can't be Kyleo because he is holding a camera, and this ghost girl in the hallway has her hands at her sides. Tell me if you can see the creepy figure. And if you still don't see it, don't worry, I've got you covered. And in my opinion, you can definitely see the pale outline of a ghost girl much better now. That's just beyond creepy. Turnshaw's special school in Kirk Burton was destroyed by a massive fire in July of 2009. Many residents phoned the fire department after noticing flames coming from the building. Heard and his crew of 50 firefighters were dispatched to the area around 6 p.m. The size of the fire was enormous and required a lot of manpower. The crew managed to control the fire enough to save one of the buildings, but it took all night and five jets to take down the flames. Residents were told to stay indoors while the fire department did its job. The fumes were thick and some residents claimed that the firefighters were warning residents about asbestos. Huddersfield Fire Station crew manager Mark Hurd stated that these were indicators that the fire was started on purpose. It's unclear where the investigation into the matter led, but this was certainly one extremely large fire. Have you ever seen a door slam all on its own? Okay, but have you seen it happen in a creepy underground morgue? Steady Pop published this horrifying video in May of 2017 which begins scary and then escalates even further. As the camera wads into the darkness with a flickering lantern lighting a hallway, strange slamming noises are heard. You might be screaming, don't go down there at your computer screen right now, but the cameraman isn't listening. He walks towards the hallway, and as he gets closer, you can see what's making that slamming noise. It's a red door down at the end of the hallway. It's opening and closing shut on repeat with no end in sight. As the cameraman gets closer and closer, your heart starts beating faster and faster. And then suddenly, the door stops slamming. The lights flicker on and then off completely. When they turn back on again, the cameraman walks over to the door and opens it. Nothing is inside. The cameraman turns down towards the end of the hallway and into the adjacent room, but nothing. Was this the paranormal in action? Or as some in the comments believe, was a fishing line involved? Real or fake, what do you think? It's certainly some interesting footage. Josh is afraid of heights and his family is giving him a hard time about it. They bet him some money that he won't be able to stay on the ledge of a watchtower for long. He takes the bet and this is his immediate reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> working now. No. Uh, you got to you got to be out for one whole minute. Josh's family ups the ante to $10. If he can make it all the way around the walkway, pale and shaky, he inches his way across the platform, timidly clinging to the wall at times to keep from falling over. At one point, it looks like he isn't going to make it much longer. I can't escape out here. Okay, I'm ready to turn around. No, nope. nope. I can't do it. There's people in the way. I can't stand up here for this long. <laughs> but he summons all of his strength and eventually makes it full circumference. If you have a fear of heights, then let me know if you would be willing to walk around this tower for 10 bucks like Josh just did, or if it would take way more to make you budge. Two friends are live streaming in Malaysia when some of the scariest moments of their lives are caught on camera in front of all of her followers. Scary. <laughs> Oh, I found it.
Shadows swirl overhead and the door slams shut even though they are the only two people home. When she looks back, her friend is no longer the same person who she's always known. If you look closely, you can see she grabs a cross out of her purse. As soon as she touches the object to her friend's arm, she screams as if the object burns her to the core. A couple other points for my final analysis. When the lights go out at 1 minute and 7 seconds, you can see a shadow person walk into the room. This shadow was caught on live stream and apparently is not special effects. Two, they are listening to some really creepy music before all of this scary stuff happens. It doesn't even sound like a song, just a slowed down chant of some kind. What is this person saying and is this related to what happened to her friend? She seems very scared when she ends the live stream, and most people seem to agree this video is both paranormal and real. This YouTuber takes his girlfriend on an adventure to go exploring a tunnel that's said to be quite haunted. The Blue Ghost Tunnel in Ontario is close to a graveyard that was not properly relocated and still has hundreds of unmarked burial sites. Well near the entrance, Jack hears strange sounds in the sky that sound like a train horn, but there's just one problem. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but listen in the background. Trains would derail so often that the tunnel was soon condemned, so I have no idea what that sound was. When they get through the boarded up entrance, from deeper in the tunnel comes the voice of a little ghost girl calling for help. It could just be a squeaky piece of machinery, but I don't think so. Hello? A mysterious light way far ahead makes them both leave quick. You can see it comes from way too far ahead to be a part of their equipment. And besides that, they claim to not even have flashlights anyway. I don't know why you would go exploring a haunted tunnel without a flashlight, but I guess they weren't intended to go very far. Little did they know they wouldn't even make it past the entrance without getting freaked out. Please don't try this yourself, but apparently there's a part of the eye that can be touched without producing a stinging sensation. This person pulls down their eyelid and gives a sharp poke to the outside corner of their eye like it's no big deal. He presses down several times in a row without even watering up, which is certainly more than I can say for myself while watching this video. I don't even want to know how he figured out this bizarre trick or how many times he had to practice before getting it right. A Russian YouTuber named Phantom claims to have met a ghost at an abandoned house that's full of quote, many terrible and mysterious legends. Maybe this sign will tell us more about its history if someone can translate it. All I can make out is the year 1910 at the very bottom. In the middle of a rock floor, he finds candles unlit, strewn in a circle. The scene gives him an eerie feeling and he doesn't want to stay here for long for fear of whoever left them here returning to find him. He thinks the legends probably are not real and that whoever set these candles was just trying to scare paranormal explorers like him. He decides to come back even later at night to make sure the legends of paranormal activity really are just a myth. As he creeps back to the house, he's surprised to find the candles are now lit and his horrors have just begun.
Standing in the middle of the circle is a mysterious tall figure wearing robes and seemingly not even noticing Phantom is at the window. So deep is its concentration. It's locked in a dark meditation of some sort that he cannot break. Phantom no longer cares about getting the best paranormal evidence ever caught on camera and goes running into the woods for his life. The woods have grown colder, more forbidding, as he hides between a tree and wait, too afraid to turn his light off even though he knows he's being followed. The mysterious figure is on him in an instant, and as it heads his way without taking any steps, he gets to see its smirking face under the cloak. I think this video is probably not real, because it looks like he uses a filter to stimulate his equipment messing up, and also because if it was real, then I don't know how he could have survived. This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor background ad 6785 captured there. Do you see the thing flying around? Look at how much it slows down. Yeah. That's so and the insane. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. A YouTuber named Sean Durez decides to go ghost investigating with his friends at their studio office, which is apparently haunted. They meet up at 2 a.m. and are talking about what they should do next, when something in the next room over wrecks their plans. What, what actually what? was that? Approximately 10 seconds later, this sound fills the building. Listen to it and tell me if you think it's real or edited. Oh, shit. Wait. Shh. By now, they are pretty much freaking out and ready to take off, but the spirit isn't quite through with them yet. You'll see absolutely nobody was nearby when this happens, which makes me think it could be real. All of the lights shut off before they get a chance to leave. One of them turns the camera light on just in time to see their friend blankly staring at them from the ground. I guess he could just be acting, and one of his friends pulled him by his feet, but that still doesn't explain this actual ghost sighting at the very end. Let's go! I think this could be real because the raw adrenaline sends his friend barreling straight through a door. Tim Morozov, or Tim Frost in English, is a Russian YouTuber who goes into places that spirits want him to stay out of. This time, he has his eyes on an entire village that's been evacuated due to the presence of something mysterious, something neither you nor I can see. He picks the creepiest, most haunted looking cabin of them all, and unlike most ghost hunters, sets up high quality lighting to catch every last detail. Sale. It isn't long before Tim Frost thinks he sees a mist floating before his very eyes, but to be honest, I don't see anything. What? That mirror, on the other hand, is hard to miss. Tim takes it off the wall and is busy inspecting it with what sounds like beads falling off a necklace hit the floor from behind. If this is fake, then someone must have climbed the cabin and poured something onto the roof to create this sound, but that still doesn't explain what happens next. A ghost brushes by and hits the microphone of his camera at 12 minutes and 3 seconds. The mic moves by itself and everything, or maybe Tim's just slightly shaking it to create the illusion of movement. Then his light short circuits, unless, that is, he hits the strobe effect and then turns it off himself. 
Tim Frost knows that he has to explore the entire cabin, and that includes the basement. He takes the freaky mirror down there with him and starts snapping pictures with an old Polaroid camera for evidence. That's when a brick falls near him. There's a good chance he placed it there himself, because this ledge is an odd place for a brick to just so happen to be perched upon. But right as I say, I notice an orb fly over the brick right as it falls. So now I'm back to thinking it could be real and paranormal. Tim Frost unfortunately gets chased out by locals before he can gather much more evidence. He returns on a different day and selects another cabin. This one happens to still have power, which is odd, but I guess the electrical company could have made a mistake and not switched it off yet. Anyway, at 3 minutes and 45 seconds, he records a strange, flickering white light against the wall. It stays with him for more than a minute, but then, at 6 minutes and 10 seconds, it goes away, almost like it goes into the next room, and then this happens. <laughs> Suddenly, the lights go out and Tim finds himself alone in the dark, or so he thinks. He uses an EMF meter to track something moving around with him, and when he hones in on its exact position, his lights start messing up. Also, an eerie mist is visible around his flashlight, but maybe it's dust. He follows the EMF meter up to an attic. His flashlight is flickering badly now, even though it was a solid beam only minutes before. What he hears next is not fake in my opinion. Too light to be a person, and yet all too near. In fact, it sounded like it was this door. But when he looks inside for himself, nothing is there. And get this, the flashlight of his camera is not the last of his lighting problems that night. When he set up his professional studio lights, lights that he's never had a problem with before, they can't seem to stay on either. I would say that this was from faulty wiring with the cabin, but I think this light is running on its own battery and isn't plugged in at all. <laughs> Ahmed knows of someone in need of his help. She's apparently been taken over by something paranormal, and he hopes to break it by reciting the right words over her bedridden figure. The orb activity picks up whenever he speaks. हम इसकी ट्रेकिंग ही कहते हैं ये बच्ची जो मेंटल है और वही जो कहते हैं कि इसके अंदर अब ये चीजें और जिन्ना होता है her grey hands have marks and worn knuckles her fingers are constantly flexing हमें महसूस हो रही एक्टिविटी है When she reaches for Ahmed at 3 minutes and 54 seconds, her arms are likewise discolored and marred. Something has been hard at work destroying her from the inside out. We don't get to see much of her face, but when we do get a glimpse, it looks scary and possessed. A twisted sneer across cracked grey skin at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. By the end of the session, she says something that makes him stop recording with a small sigh. Tell me what she says here to seemingly break his spirit.
The possibility of this being real depends on if you believe in spirits taking someone over. Caught on tape is a scary woman, no doubt about that, but she could also be suffering from some kind of illness that causes delusions and skin conditions. This could also be makeup and some very good acting. The orbs could be from a dusty room, but the way they move over her makes me wonder if this is a real paranormal video caught on tape. These friends are talking in the kitchen when someone else pulls up a chair to join them. The only problem is, no one's there. When one of them finally notices that the chair is a full two or three feet away from the table, he's so startled that he doesn't even close the refrigerator. He just wants to get away fast, which is a realistic reaction for sure. That chair move. Of course, no one else in the group believes his bizarre story at first, but when they see it for themselves, their scared reactions are as legit as can be. I'll add that the fear and surprise on his face is readily apparent here too. All of them are trying to come up with a rational explanation, and the best answer they have is that the man in a white shirt is somehow causing it to happen. It's true that the chair only seems to move when he is either approaching it or standing nearby. Just when they are beginning to calm down, a final event seems to confirm their suspicions. Let me know what you think is happening here, and if you think this is a prank or the early stages of a spiritual possession. This house guest is Eternal. Published by Jojo Owens in February of 2022, Jojo explains that he, his wife, and several guests in his home had witnessed a shadow-like movement in the living room out of the corner of their eyes. That's why when Owens heard a noise in the back room one night while his wife was sleeping, he set up his phone camera to record. This is what he captured. A tall shadowy figure is seen moving across the lit doorway at the end of the room. After witnessing this, Owens grabbed his phone camera to investigate, but turned up nothing. Neither was there anything in the room that might cast this shadow. Although one commenter suggested that there may be someone squatting in the Owens home, Owens said this has been going on for three years so it's highly unlikely. To whom does this shadow belong then? This grainy cell phone video comes from the SNDT Women's University in Mumbai, India. They are walking down a long hall filled with various classroom conversations when they see another student coming the opposite way. Well, I guess they didn't technically see them, since it was only a pair of shoes with nobody attached. Tell me, am I losing my mind? Or if this really is a ghost student going to class? A woman approaches a home she does not live in and immediately tries the door without knocking. Notice her mouth open a little in surprise when she sees the doorbell cam. It looks like she is in big trouble and knows it. I have little doubt that this woman would have taken whatever she could if the door was unlocked because, according to the description, she apparently tried the door just 10 minutes after watching the owners leave. She's also wearing jogging clothes and appears to be trying her best to blend in. Most neighborhood residences probably wouldn't take a second look at her. Who knows how many times this routine has worked for her in the past. According to the description, this video has been sent to the authorities. So I really hope she gets caught, or at least comes up with a good explanation. As to what she was doing here, a YouTuber named Big and Blonde is checking on a Ouija board that he and his friend left in the woods not too long ago. Something chased them out of the woods the last time they used it, and now they are returning to properly end the ceremony. Not even broad daylight could keep their fears at bay as they come across the same spot as before. Something feels extra wrong about this section of the woods, and moments later they see exactly why. You don't want to go. Come on. Run! Run! A figure dressed in black and white stomps down their way and sends them running. As they flee, the screams of what could be a girl's last moments on earth fill the forest behind them. I guess this person could just simply be one of their friends, or it could be some kind of supernatural force conjured by the Ouija board. If it is the latter, then I could only imagine it will grow stronger with each passing day until the session is ended once and for all. This pirate treasure was planted for YouTuber the Pukka Pukka's six-year-old daughter. 
She was wanting some pocket money, so she reluctantly sent to clean out the old unused window box. Little did she know she would find a treasure map amongst the old brass, the YouTuber writes. The map leads to a secret room sealed upon her conception seven years ago. While cleaning out the old window box, the young girl finds a load of old doorknobs and a secret map. The map shows that their house has a secret room. The father takes her into the hallway, tells her to place the map on the ground in the same orientation as the home, and asks her why they must go to find the secret room. They wind up in the girl's room. She says it would be weird if there was a hidden door in her own room. She starts pounding on the wall and notes that it sounds hard, not hollow. The father joins in and says it sounds hollow in one part of the wall. They decide to cut the wall, as there might be treasure and lots of money, like $150,000 so they could go to Disneyland. As the girl suggests, they cut open the wall and do in fact find the secret room. At first, the girl assumes there's nothing in it, but at the far end of the room, a small silver treasure chest sits. Inside are necklaces, jewelry, and doubloons. What a great way to send your child on an adventure. If you find Sally selling seashells by the seashore, don't buy them. This creepy shell was found full of strange creatures. We found this weird looking thing stuck on a shelf on the beach and look what it does. It like moved. Don't really do anything now. So it's like real action here. The camera shy. At first glance, they look like several closed eyelids, but they are bubbling. As the girls continue to inspect it, you see several of the creatures move. But it's cool. But it's like, like what is this? I don't know. I'm frozen. Oh, I, I, I touched it and it moved. Many in the comments say these are barnacles. I've never seen a barnacle before, but after a little research, I think that assessment is spot on. Now that I've seen them, they're a lot creepier than I'd ever imagined. John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvene downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but uh, I doubt it. After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. Right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown, so there is a strong chance that this ghost video is real. A strange smear of a man floats across the sidewalk and materializes into a person. Their lower half is missing and then they disappear. One of the weirdest things caught on camera is how the apparent ghost checks its phone when it first appears. Either this is a strange camera glitch, or else I guess we still keep our phones in the afterlife. The Wardrobe Ritual is one of the paranormal world's most dangerous games. YouTubers PIT Paranormal Investigation Team complete the ritual, which turns up more than they expected. <laughs> 
Something grabs Debbie, and it isn't human. What was that? A human-like hand appears for a moment to grab Debbie's shoulder, but no one is behind her. I do believe the ritual was successful. They summoned a demon. Now the question is, how do you send it back? Todd Peterson has been experiencing some paranormal activity in his doorway, so he decides to try and see if he can record it on camera. When he locks his bedroom door, you can clearly see that there is no string attached to the lock. The door does not open easily easily and requires some force to push. He takes four large steps away from the door and holds the camera steady. Just when he is starting to give up hope, he finally gets the evidence he needs to prove he hasn't lost his mind. The entire video is less than a minute long and has absolutely no editing. There's just no way to fake this video in my opinion, but if you think you have an alternative explanation, please let me hear it. Filmed at the Holy Love Apparition site, the video shows two statues in a field backlit by the sun. Those getting the footage get closer to the statues. In the close-up, the statue's eyes appear to be blinking. While it could be an effect on the sunlight, it looks like the statue is legitimately opening and closing its eyes. Of course, there are some believers in the comments, and then there are some doubting the whole incident as well. So YouTubers, is this a miracle, or just an optical illusion? Fair warning, this video is said to be cursed, so I am in no way responsible for what happens to you as a result of watching it. They are recording nothing in particular, when a horrifying monstrosity rushes out of the pitch black backyard and straight towards the camera. I hope this video isn't real, but if it is, then it doesn't look like the person had much of a chance. Hopefully you won't befall the same fate for watching. A chef and his apprentice rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before opening. One of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away. Moments later, he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack. He tries to explain what happened to a co-worker. As he examines the bread for anything wrong, finding nothing. I was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away, but I guess it's done moving for now. Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. A man is riding down a poorly lit Indian highway when they barely avoid a pedestrian who is staggering in the middle of the road. Yet when he turns around seconds later, the man is nowhere to be found. Now he is determined to find the man again. He turns back around and retraces his steps for almost a full minute, then he realizes he's all gone, grows extremely uncomfortable and speeds away. The only non-paranormal explanation I have is that maybe the pedestrian got scared and hid when he saw the motorcycle turn back around. Let me know if you think that's what happened, or if this was a genuine highway ghost encounter. You know it's going to be a good video when the license plate has been covered up, and check out the dual exhaust. Those pipes look like the perfect place for some snakes to hide. Keep your eyes on them because you're about to see something crazy. Okay, so that was a bit of misdirection, but you have to admit you did see something crazy, and I bet you didn't guess getting run over was how this video ends, and neither did the poor person recording. This must have been at a car rally based on the crowd. I guess the driver was so excited being the center of attention that he didn't check his mirrors before flying into reverse. I really hope they are alright, but I don't see how that's possible, considering how fast this souped up SUV was moving. Ryan Layton records what he says is a full bodied apparition jumping over the table in his apartment.
at two minutes, there is a loud noise and some kind of pale ghost-like figure appears in front of the camera. But is it paranormal or something else is the question. The webcam is low quality and skipping frames, so this could simply be somebody shining a flashlight directly at it to create the illusion of a ghost. Let me know what you make of this video, because to me it's kind of hard to tell if this video is supernatural or nothing special. Jazz Kin Ho and a friend decide to open a deep web box in a public place just in case they need to quickly get help. A short while later, they find this religious necklace, almost as if it was placed there to ward off evil. Next is a series of old photographs with X's over them. It's like they've been hunted or something, and then crossed out one by one. People crossed out. Whoever this is crossed out. A baby. I'm curious as to what this device is used for. It looks similar to something I've seen people in other videos use to communicate with spirits. Then again, it kind of looks like it could even be used to measure radiation. Jammed inside of a glass bottle is a baby doll that's covered in all red. Its head is busted open, and inside of the red gelatinous substance is a key for a box. Okay, I'm gonna open this quick because I do. Inside this box, there's a dead spider. There's three teeth and ten cents. Um, enough's enough with that. I'm closing that and I'm locking that back up. If this box is real, then I think whoever sent it has a real penchant for children's belongings. Perhaps everything in the box was taken from the sender's own personal collection. A watchman is sleeping in his chair at around 1 in the morning when a special visitor wakes him up with a racket. Published by Wokun High Official in March of 2022, the watchman enters the road and finds nothing. After zoning out again, something drops into his lap from the sky. Again, he looks for the culprit but finds nothing. Getting some more shut-eye, the motorcycle now starts to move on its own, and then the cane in his hands is kicked out from under him. When a distraction in the bushes wakes him yet again, he checks it out but again returns to sleep. That's when the woman in white enters the frame. She walks eerily past down the road, one arm outstretched to hold up her robe. She then re-enters, approaching the sleeping man. She sits and watches him a moment before vanishing. One of his legs is kicked out from under him. He ends up on the ground. Is this night watchman destined to be up all night? It certainly seems like this lady in white doesn't want him to sleep. TikToker KC Rav is not home alone. The security footage captured something super creepy near the stairway leading upstairs. Watch the dark corner. A large figure appears to peek out from beneath in the darkness. From the TikToker's description of the video, it sounds like the dark corner is another stairway leading down to another level of the home. Let's take a closer look. What is that? It definitely looks like a person to me. Another mysterious aspect of this video is the movement in the reflection to the left. I'm not sure if that's glass or a mirror, but something is moving and flickering past and then disappears. Are these two mysteries related? Whatever is going on here, if that isn't a ghost, it's an intruder. Either way, I think she should leave. A YouTuber named Stromedy and his friend journey into a maze of tunnels deep underground to conjure the spirit of a girl who supposedly had her life forcibly taken down there long ago. 
They don't appear to be very serious in the beginning, but their attitude soon changes when they think they've summoned a relatively friendly spirit named Abby. Then roughly nine minutes into the video, they feel another presence enter and this happens. Oh, oh dude, we're doing figure eights again. What? Can you stop? Can you please? Yeah. Holy. That's freaking That's crazy. creepy. I'm gonna ask him. Whoa! They briefly consider leaving, but then Kyle volunteers to look through the middle of the pointer instead. Earlier, Abby said whoever does this will be able to see her true form. Kyle bravely puts the pointer to his eye and peers into the unknown. Ha, you there, bro? Ha. Dude. Dude, seriously. Dude. Oh, let's just go. Let's go back. I know what you mean now. Let's go back. What did you see her? What did you see? Let's go grab the board and let's go. I think his reaction seems fairly genuine, but let me know if you agree or not. Is something living in this underground train station? Posted on the r slash ghost subreddit by Ben Taylor. The scary video shows the behind the scenes nature of the underground at Crew Station in the UK. As the Redditor and his friend walk through the station, mysterious haunting noises echo through the underground, like a creature is roaring or wailing, like an animal. The roaring repeats over and over. The boys walk through a fenced-in area and the sound gets louder, but its source isn't any more apparent. <laughs> The sound repeats and then changes a little, causing the cameraman to turn around and hightail it out of there. It stops for a moment but then continues again as they decide to retreat. The Redditor writes, The area was checked for dogs, animals, and even an injured security guard by transport police as the noise was causing the staff to stay away from the area. No dogs, no humans, no pipes were there for the dog to stick its nose in. A howl down and security informed us nothing was found the next day, but the noise returned the next night. One Redditor in the comments, Nullulus, says it might be a small deer species that's an invasive breed in the UK called the Muntjock Deer. Others still think it's an injured dog or a piece of machinery, but the Redditor seems to lean toward the paranormal as he says other employees have heard strange noises and seen unexplained objects moving. We could make theories all day, but it's only the Redditor and his co-workers who witnessed it in person. So if they're saying it's paranormal, I think that explanation makes the most sense to me. Donnie and Tony partner up to form a freaky ghost hunting channel called Donton Paranormal. This time, the pair are exploring a spooky cemetery known only as the Labyrinth. Exact location unknown. What they found in this haunted place is beyond words and without explanation. Watch the far doorway and you'll see it too. The thing that weirded them out for life. I'm pulling. As you can see, a tall figure blocks the top of the stairs. When they get too close, the peculiar shadow curiously disappears. Oh. 
After reviewing the evidence, Danton Paranormal wonders if they've actually captured a real ghost on video. They didn't notice the creepy shadow until reviewing the tape much later. The shadow figure looks creepy and appears to have no natural source, at least not one from our side of this world. Tell me if you think this was a true sighting, and more importantly, if you would be brave enough to go up to that door and face whatever that was. I don't think I could ever return for a follow-up investigation, but I hope they do. If you were awoken by vibrations, what would you think was happening? Published by YB Normal in January of 2012, a hotel guest awoke to something reverberating throughout his room in Beijing and reported hearing spine-chilling sounds. Grabbing hold of his camera, he went to the window where he spotted three unidentified flying objects in the sky. The dark saucers can be seen in a triangular formation in the distance, while in the background you can hear the disturbing noise that must have woken him. It's one deep, long, vibrating note, like the sound of something hovering. The camera zooms in on the saucers before the video turns off unexpectedly. The uploader says the camera stopped functioning for no reason. Are these extraterrestrials simply observing us Earthlings? Or are they trying to scare us with sleep deprivation? This TikTok video taken somewhere in India shows a mystery hidden within a window on the first floor. Are the curtains partially pulled back? Or is a figure looking out of a window late at night for no reason at all? A high-powered flashlight is directly on them, yet there is no detail except for its odd outline. It's said that on this battlefield, the ghosts of soldiers still roam. Published by Dark3 in July of 2019, a man is exploring a region where hostilities took many lives. The tree-heavy area features a couple of towers and a brick wall, dividing them. Despite the rather average-looking landscape, the cameraman says strange things are often observed here. After zooming in on the tower, the camera scans the tower from the top to the ground, which is covered by brush and trees. It is behind one of these trees that he captures a glimpse of a strange creature. It's hard to tell what this is. It looks hauntingly like an unearthly figure crouched down almost out of view. Its coloring does not blend with its surroundings, making me think there's a good chance this could be CGI. And that appears this is the case. So I guess that explains what this thing is doing here, because it certainly doesn't look of this world. This thermal camera captured a baby's cry, living people, and not so living people. First, the baby is heard. Next, a not so living person is seen on camera. And again here. Apparently this is the background without the thermal camera on. And then lastly, a female EVP is heard. What does she know? My guess. I think she knows who the not-so-living person is lurking around the room. A YouTuber named Trey P is wandering around an empty graveyard somewhere in New Orleans all by himself when he hears this voice out of nowhere. <laughs> He claims that the voice belongs to a ghost, though to be honest, it might just be his. The only way to tell if this video is real would be to have Trey P say a sentence and then compare his voice with the voice in the video. YouTube team Ozark Paranormal Project sets up a stationary camera in this haunted room. While the group is all hanging out in the hallway, notice that their shadows cast from a light in the next room to the upper wall. Okay. 
but later when no one's there, strange lights are cast on the room's walls. What was that? Watch above the open door. It almost looks like fairy dust. It doesn't appear the same as the other light sources falling in the room. But is it paranormal? I think it's more likely a camera glitch of some kind, but I've never seen one so bizarre. One day, a YouTuber named Michelle Burst and her friends are startled to find something burrowing beneath the ice. Oh my God. They are positive that something is causing the ice to crack and splinter as it digs a path under their feet. While I do see what they think, I'm pretty sure that this is just the formation of ice in real time. Still, I'd like to get your opinion to confirm. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea what could be shifting the ice like that. Nothing like heading out to the old barn in the middle of the night. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Comics Man, and originally posted to YouTube in April of 2020 by the channel Me and Some Dudes. Comics Man writes, Thought I saw something at 1 minute 19 seconds. Don't know. Let's take a look and find out. The guy filming sets out to show us his barn at night. He notes that there's a shed full of roosters to the side, and sometimes they go berserk. He says when they do, and he goes to check on them, the door is always open. His theory is that there are bunnies or raccoons living beneath the barn, but how would they open the door? Eugene Krabs in the YouTube comments points out at around 1 minute 18 seconds that something appears to duck down behind the gray thing in the barn. Do you see it? We can only hope it's a raccoon and not something creepier. A UFO appears to burn in midair as it stalls directly over Area 51 in front of plenty of witnesses. I think this video is probably CGI because the smoke almost looks like it could be a looping animation. But if anything like this were to ever happen on Earth, Area 51 is where it would most likely take place, so I'm not entirely discounting the legitimacy of this video. There's a reason no one parks here. Published by Haunted Forest Monsters in May of 2019, this creepy clip caught a mysterious figure on a parking lot security camera. Captured around 9pm, the dark parking lot shines as though it's recently rained. After a moment, a semi-transparent figure is seen traveling from the left side of the lot to the right. Yo, what the f It doesn't stop as it meets a median filled with trees and bushes but appears again in the next parking lot over. Is this a meter made phantom? Or did this once living being lose track of his car for so long he lost his life in the process of trying to find it? I know I see it. If you have a sibling, then they've likely played practical jokes on you before. But what happens when the impractical is not a joke? In this video, something is seen floating on the other side of the room. As the boys grow increasingly panicked, a toy car is thrown at the younger brother, while another toy car comes flying towards the older brother, seemingly of its own accord. The video cuts out and then resumes as the brothers are arguing with each other in Malé, perhaps blaming each other for the paranormal activity. The younger brother is being yelled at and he screams back in anger before leaving the room. The older brother looks concerned and when they go check on him, they find a figure standing on the toilet hanging upside down. Wait, after shouting out, one of the older brothers rushes back into the dining room, and it seems the paranormal is not over yet. A chair shoves out from under the table on its own. He grabs his phone, while the other brother attempts to restrain the child. That's where the video ends. While many in the comments are doubtful of this video's authenticity, some are all in saying this is real. Facebook user, 
Mohamed Zaref Amin is one of the latter, writing, All of you who comment says this is all an act. Just be careful if he wants to disturb you. We have to believe this smooth creature exists. I guess if we don't believe, we are more vulnerable. Adam Grayson is making a YouTube video at the hospital after a reaction causes his entire hand to swell. His wedding ring presses into flesh of his finger hard enough to cut off the circulation. Now a surgeon has to cut through the thin band of metal with only a trained eye and a tiny circular saw. One slip will make the situation ten times worse. Ah, that's hot. The friction from the saw creates such an intense heat that nurses must repeatedly squirt water on the ring to cool it off. They really do have to delicately cleave through every last millimeter of the ring to get it off. Here, you can just see how close they have to get to Adam's finger before they are able to pry it off. Adam's finger is red and tender. When they are finally finished with the procedure, there is no doubt that in my mind that he would have eventually lost an index figure had he not gotten to the hospital in time. A paranormal YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit box. Hi, spirits. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. The ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily the possessed doll passes them all. Can you show us an art, please? Thank you. Can you show me your orbs? A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Awake. Uh. Awake. Uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left. Was I possessed, he later asks. And I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. Have you ever got the feeling that you're being followed? Poppy's Paradise posted this footage to Reddit writing, Something is following me. The guy in the clip says he was driving when he noticed something outside in the darkness. He stopped his car on the side of the road to film whatever it is, and he shouts a greeting to the figure outside the window. There's something up here. Hello? As he drives slowly past, the something that he saw following him comes into view. The figure looks like a girl straight out of the ring, dressed in white with long black hair. The ghastly creature is seen only for a moment before the clip ends. Is this thing truly following him? We can only hope this was his only sighting. You would need serious courage to stay calm in a situation like this. Parents may especially have trouble watching this dashcam video from Toronto. This father with a baby stroller is about to have the scariest encounter a father could ever experience. He's getting his kid out from some snow when a thoughtless driver goes through a red light and almost takes them both out. The car has some flashing lights on the back, so it could have been an emergency and might explain why they were going so fast. Still, had he been pushing the baby stroller in front of him, this would have been a much different video. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. This phantom is on a shopping spree. Published by Phantom Encounter in April of 2020, security footage captured some strange activity in the shop after hours. A meditation book is thrown to the floor from a stand next to the owner's desk. A moment later, a loud noise is heard off screen, like something has been dropped to the floor. 
The owner says she's familiar with this noise because it happens frequently. One of the handmade lampshades has been thrown to the floor. What do you think is going on here? Jones Margaret writes in the comments, Considering the age of the building and its history along with the age of the buildings around you, it isn't surprising that you have so many ghosts. I have to agree, this activity does seem to suit the environment. Another dog with something to prove. Posted to YouTube by It's Just Mars in March of 2012, the uploader writes that her dog does this most nights. The clip shows the dog on high alert for five minutes, growling, barking, and whining. At the end of the video, the uploader says that the closet door just opened on its own. The dog appears very upset by this and is pacing around the bed. I really think that the dog was right about everything. There's something unseen in this house. Okay, think of this scary video as a what would you do type situation. A woman named Letitia Patterson is walking back to her car when a strange man who is acting beyond creepy in my opinion begins to follow her. She lets him know that he's caught on camera and the video gets more outrageous from there. Hold on, I'm about to record you because if something happened to me, they gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family funny. member. That's right. Following me. I think capturing his weird behavior on tape is the right move, but showing him where she parked is not the safest decision. She could have walked away to get help, but I guess she felt like she was going to take control of the scary moment, and so she overcomes her fears and confronts the stranger, getting more bizarre video on camera for us to analyze. <laughs> yep, bye. The strange man attempts to get her to laugh it off, playing off his aggression as harmless flirting, but he is not respecting her boundaries, which to me is beyond creepy, and a major warning sign that she should get away fast. He follows around her car for a bit, and then he's standing by her door when the creepy encounter takes another bizarre turn. I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera. I'll grab that phone from you. Break it. Look. Delete that on camera, please. Well, can you get away from my car? Yeah, but... Delete that I'll delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. But the mysterious man walks towards her instead, closer than ever as you can see at 1 minute and 27 seconds, and she realizes by now that he isn't going away, and that this scary moment could escalate if she doesn't get help. Hey y'all call 911, this guy just followed me around the store. I think asking a stranger to call 911 was the right decision because he could have taken the phone out of her hands if she stopped recording him. The camera is a good deterrent, and also she needs to continue to record evidence. Police investigators haven't found him yet as far as I know, but check this part out. I think he says his name here at 7 seconds. She's talking at the same time, but tell me if you can understand what he says. They gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family funny. member. At least one other woman claims to have had a similar creepy experience with a scary stranger. So the evidence seems to suggest that he could be terrifying people just for fun. Freaky, right? Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. Wait. That's the moon on the right. So what the f*** that? A TikToker named Zandorf looks up to see a large object dwarfing the moon. Oh yeah, it is. It does do it on mine. You just have to line it up right. 
it's not a street lamp because there's nothing underneath of it. Stranger still, the moon isn't even visible on his friend's phone when he tries to take a picture. So is Zandorf really telling the truth? You don't see anything. Like, we need to take a picture of, like, the difference. That's so f***ing weird. What the f***? There it is! <laughs> Look! I think that the larger object could actually be the real moon, which makes the smaller circle a lens flare. This is the only explanation that makes sense to me, unless he really was looking at something much larger and many times brighter than the moon itself. This neighborhood in Lando Lakes, Florida was built on shaky ground and now the earth is reclaiming the houses as its own. Within the course of nine hours, this house is completely snapped in half and sinking into a swell of groundwater so deep that it engulfed a palm tree with ease. Blue the water, see how much water? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Hours later, the sinkhole has easily quadrupled in size and is busy dismantling a second house. There is nothing that can be done as the foundation is ripped away. Here you can see how close this third pink house comes to being lost in the abyss. Only a small strip of land protects its corner from going under, but somehow it holds firm and the family is able to recover their belongings. Sadly, all of the remaining houses had to be condemned because even though they were spared this time, the sinkhole could randomly widen at any minute. It's a terrible situation, but perhaps most terrifying is that moments before their eventual collapse, you would never suspect that anything was wrong. All of the houses look structurally sound in these photos taken months prior. The yards and driveways look level, the telephone poles stand straight up without leaning, and the roads likewise look smooth and have little cracks. In other words, exactly like your neighborhood probably looks right now. Maddie Smith is traveling to the airport with her friends Tyler and Tori when her Uber driver Tony displays some very strange behavior along the way. He makes a remark that immediately puts them on edge, and I wanted to get your opinion on how you would feel if someone randomly said this to you. God was telling him that someone in the car needed to be saved and we needed to figure out who it was. Shortly thereafter, he begins reciting scripture that could easily be taken as thinly veiled threats, especially coming from a stranger they've just met. I personally think that he should have been able to see the rather obvious discomfort on Maddie's face and probably should have stopped this discussion, but he continues to steer the conversation towards his beliefs. He's been talking for a long time now, and Maddie hears the GPS telling him to turn around because they've missed their exit. She claims that Tony later admits that he was missing the exits on purpose. My question is if he wanted to simply ramble at them some more, or if he is blatantly taking them somewhere else. Watch this and you tell me. You can play church all your life. I never really understand what you mean. Now that I think about it, this routine might have been a trick to get more money. They were too freaked out to do much about his ranting, and ended up riding around with him for an hour and Eventually, they requested that he drop them off, even though they were not at their actual destination. How serious do you think Tony was being, and where do you think this conversation would have ended if Maddie and her friends had not stopped it sooner? This strange sighting looks like an oversized bird of prey from far away. Make no mistake, this is no bird. Moments ago, this creature with long wings was sighted scaling the dome of a cathedral in Mexico. The demon-like creature looks over its shoulder and sees it's been caught on camera, but it doesn't much care. It flies up to the top and extends its wings before taking off. This video has gone viral in the Spanish-speaking community, so I figured I would give my analysis. Some people are saying that this is a bat, while others are saying this is a demon sighting given its location with the cathedral. But I wanted to clear up the confusion and say this is from a CGI artist named Fernando Loga. Now, if you see this anywhere else on the web since it's spreading like crazy, now you know what actually happened here. Onasi Olio Rojas
uses Facebook Live to record himself doing 115 miles per hour on the highway in Providence, Rhode Island, blasting loud music the entire time. He thinks nothing of swerving in and out of traffic, cutting off cars over and over again while going breakneck speeds. His high-speed escapade only lasts about two minutes before he cuts into the shoulder and fails to pull off a quick two-lane change. Puppy. What you don't see in the final moments of this video is the garbage truck slamming into him from behind, sending Onasi into the concrete barrier and then into a dead stop in the middle of the road. He survived and was sentenced to six months of house arrest, followed by six months of probation. Based on this video, tell me if you think he has received a fair sentence. Beware of where the Randonautica app may lead, published a TikTok by Haley AIG in August of 2020. The app led this unfortunate group into a forest, and they weren't alone. Haley explains that the app took them to a park in the middle of nowhere. As the camera pans around, she notes that they've only seen trees so far, but they seem to have missed this figure, poking its head out from behind one of those trees. As they wander across a wooden bridge, this forlorn, dark-haired figure dressed in black crosses the path at the end of a dirt road. The girls wander on and all you can see is the ground for a moment as they wonder if they're being followed and then it's clear that they are. While many TikTokers are loving this, Austin Payton writes, I may or may not have fallen off of my bed, while others claim that their souls left their bodies and they threw their phones across the room. Haley writes, I deleted the Randonautica app after. That's probably for the best. Redditor Pitboy1050 captured this on his security camera at work and it may make you want to call in sick. 16. While some think it's a ghost, the way it hovers looks almost mechanical to me. The Redditor writes that it went on for longer and he could see the entire figure from top to bottom and then saw it leave. In some traditions, souls are said to stay on Earth for 40 days after their passing. It definitely looks like a Pokong to me, but it could also just be a bug on the lens. Which side are you on? 3 Minute Box Job published this video in April of 2016 writing, This is the craziest encounter we've ever had. The people encountered the woman while they were driving. The YouTuber noted that the situation was simultaneously crazy and sad, and the four minute video is really crazy as they come. She also leaned so far inside their vehicle that it looked like she was trying to join them. She started showing them her rings and telling them they're real. The guy in the passenger seat was coaxing the woman, laughing, telling her she's crazy and that she needs a nap. She leaned very far in again, and he wondered aloud what was going on. During her next strange string of nonsense, she said she ate a lot of mustard gas. When the guys finally drove off, they were just blown away by whatever that was. Seen a number of La Llorona sightings on Top 15s, but none creepier than this entity. Published by Danny Phantom in April of 2019, this scary video has been trending as of late in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The clip shows security footage of a house, whose owner claims to have experienced several sleepless nights due to a disturbance, which was a woman crying. However, his house is far from the city and there are no residences nearby. Naturally, the man ruled out the idea that this was a neighbor and was concerned about regularly hearing this woman's cry. Finally, he discovered the culprit on his home security camera. A blurry, semi-transparent figure of a woman enters the courtyard. She has long black hair and is clothed in a white floor-length dress. She walks slowly across the courtyard before disappearing into the darkness. Although the security footage has no sound, some viewers are certain that this is the weeping woman, La Llorona. 
If it is, then this man had better know how to swim because she is out to drown him. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.